myself. No! Why can't I get myself? No! No! Why can't I get myself? No! So, hello there! Hello there! My name's Pip Can Pip, but my eyes immediately start to burn the second I start streaming. I don't know what it is. It must be that I keep my eyes open for longer or something. I don't know why that happens. Why does that happen, chat? Why does it happen when I start streaming? My eyes start burning. Oh, goodness. Allergic to streaming. I'm allergic to streaming. What the heck? No, more like I'm allergic to talking. Ew, talking. Gross. Ew. Ew. Okay. <laughs> pink eyes. I don't have pink eyes. I have purple eyes. I have purple eyes. Thank you very much. Lag? Is there still lag? There better not be a lot of lag. Pascal, thank you to the Sleepy Senses here. And that is what I hear first. This Sleepy Way, 10x, thank you to the so you are shit now. So, I am. Oh, it was a tiny bit, oh yeah. So, what if I am a ship now? Huh? What if I am? Are you gonna discriminate against me or something? Huh? Huh? So, Benji Monroe, thank you to the if you're Oshkosh, Wisconsin, it's Pub Crawl Weekend. What? Donald Elliot, thank you for two dollars. That is literally the sound chicks make. <laughs> Win the submarine, thank you for the 1.9. Pascal, thank you for the 218. Uh, sleepy sentence here. Oh, ah. Uh. That, that gets up. The pickled cucumber, thank you for two dollars. She loves jazz so much, it brings her to tears. Shut up. Him as friends, thank you for becoming a big bye bye. Okay, chat, so. What do you know about weird fetishes? What 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 do you know about the internet, chat? About all the crazy shit that goes on out there on the World Wide Web. Oh no, please! Too much? More than you'd like to? Well. Did you know? That you're watching fetish videos on TikTok without even knowing it? <laughs> Let me move the alerts to be on top of that. You probably... you probably did. I feel like a, a bunch of people here probably already knew that. But then 99% of you guys don't even watch TikToks. So... Allow me to read this article here. We've all seen the videos, life hacks, cooking videos, and more that are so ridiculous you think no one would ever actually do that. Oh, I have sniffles. Sorry, I have to mute the sniffle every so often. Sure, many of them are courting the engagement that can come from our confused reactions. That thought of, let me ridicule this by sharing it. But some of these videos are straight up fetish videos disguised as life hacks or other types of content. Like, check out this video. Well, we're not, we're not clicking on these. Um, it's clear there is something going on. Maybe it's not clear what's going on. But you can be sure that someone, somewhere, is getting off to it. TikTok policy prohibits videos that depict sexual fetishes. But how sexual fetishes are defined can be slippery. These life hack, comedy, or prank style videos might not show people in latex and chains. But they are more familiar. But they share so many familiar tropes and structures with fetish content, and depict things that are so out of the ordinary. It's hard not to see them as porn. Porn for someone, anyway. Hmm, slippery. Why are you guys so weird? Something did something. A politician. What? <laughs> what? 
on the spot hidden vegetables back in 1964 when Supreme Court Justice Potter Stewart had to describe obscenity he famously said I know it when I see it that same rule applies to hidden fetish videos on TikTok these videos are often not obviously sexual but the cheesed out porn soundtracks and a leering style of camera work see scream porn even if uh, the thing being leered at is food or slime and then it links to the slime video I guess I don't know I don't know I'm scared to click the ones in the article. I don't even know if those ones appear. I guess we can. I guess I guess we can try and click them. I prepared so many of my own. No, these just linked other articles. These just linked other articles. I figured that was gonna happen. They just linked other articles. But I already compiled some of these videos. I already compiled some of these chat. And I think I think the saying, "You'll know it when you see it," really rings true. It really rings true with some of these. I'm gonna show you the most infamous one first. So she's filling up a toilet with ice, and there's a bunch of candy around there. And she's got some she's got some sherbet ice cream. And she uses her bare fucking hands to like shove it down in the toilet. Oh, this is gonna be so good. This is gonna be amazing. Okay. And it just it just feels weird, right? You just you feel dirty watching this, right? Let me let me let me uh, like the plane. Yeah. She already emptied that part. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, this is making my teeth hurt. Look at that. I love Sour Patch Kids, but I have to suck the sour off them before I eat them. Just putting a bunch of sour candy. And then the worst fucking liquid known to man. That's gonna clog. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, buddy. Oh, she's adding Santa and Sprite. I feel like it's some of the things that they're saying as well. They're like, oh, wow. Oh, well, everything from the tank is going to go through into the yep. sherbet and the ice. Yep. And, like, the camera angle, orange. like, pointing down at her breasts and stuff. Like, it's... So here we go. There's just something off about it, right, Chet? There's just... Okay. There's just something <laughs> off about it. And this is on a platform for kids. So, you know, kids are watching this, and they're like... Oh. Which, actually, disclaimer, TikTok did remove this one. TikTok did remove this one. I had to go on a little hunt. And then you flush, and then we get to scoop it out. Okay, well, let's... I want to make sure it's nice and mixed, okay? Okay. You literally mix it in there. It's going to be great. Ready? Yeah. I think people are going to like it. Yeah, they're going to love it. Okay. Ah! So we can see? Yeah. Yeah, let's see what I want to see. It's, it just feels weird! It just feels weird! I know there's technically... I know there's technically, know there's technically like, nothing obscene about this, but, like... And if you're a kid, you're probably watching this like, wow, that's so silly. That's... what a gross prank. Oh my god. There's, like, a second part of this, too, where she, like, uh, uh gives the drinks to the people. But this this version didn't have that. So yeah, we can we can agree there's something up with this shit, right? We can we can agree. Listen, listen. There's a lot of discourse around. Oh no, kink shaming is wrong. Fuck you. I'm gonna kink shame. Okay, this is fucking weird. It's fucking weird and gross. And if you want to upload it to Pornhub and you want to keep it on Pornhub. Good for you, but you're uploading it on TikTok. You're uploading it on fucking TikTok, you freaks. Moxie Man, thank you for the It's called Wham, Wet and Messy. Is that actually what it's called? Nay, nay, thank you for the the toilet one is obscene because of the biohazard. The Vine Blackout, thank you for the lawyers. And this stream, is... and does this stream have anything about the gaming chair comment from yesterday? What? Why are the super chats doubling up on my thing? James Bond thing with eleven dollars. People, what did we do to deserve this? Sorry, not sorry. Tubby the fat thing you were becoming big baby. Can't believe people watching them without knowing, been following these for a while. Yes, I just got that doll. Get me. What the fuck? Pump the thing. Big baby. Beep 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 beep. Okay, here's another one. Here's here's another one, Jet. Can I just full screen? It kind of cuts off though. 
There we go. Not very long. Not very, like, crazy compared to the other ones. But it's just... It's just like, why? Like, why? You know? Why? Is it the audio? Is that what makes it weird? Is, is that what makes it uncomfortable? Because it's like... I don't know! Like, what, what gets people off about this? What, what makes people... The audio was doubling? Was it? Was it doubling? I don't know. Okay, here's another This one. will change your life forever. You have been pooping wrong. What I want you to do is poop backwards, get all of your favorite snacks, get your favorite show, She's kinda loud. and that's how you poop. It's the best of all times, and you just sit there pooping and you're jamming out. Oh, it's a snake. A bad joke, bad joke, bad joke. It's like, you look at it, and you're like... Oh, I have double audio? Sorry. Sorry, I didn't realize my audio is doubled. Okay, there we go. I muted the, the other thing. And it's like, it's tagged backwards. Hashtag backwards. Hashtag bathroom. Hashtag snacks. Hashtag, hashtag life hack. It's fetish content. And it doesn't like look at fetish content. But it is. It's a South Park video. Is she watching South Park on it? Or is it a South Park reference? Why you eat on the toilet? I don't know. I don't know. It was stolen from a South Park episode. Ah! I just found this in a compilation list somebody else made of like weird fetishy TikToks. So... I don't know. They have more uploaded. I'm kind of tempted to click on them. Maybe, maybe she's just a comedian. Maybe this one's just... She's just a comedian. Oh, oh my goodness! Is that an evil chick milkshake? It's my lucky day. This looks so good. Mm. Oh, it has a weird aftertaste. I'm still gonna drink it though. Sup, mom? Where'd you get that King Burger cup? We did not Maybe. go to King Burger today. I found this in the store. Ah, no, sweetie. No, that is so unsanitary. You do not drink out of random drinks. This Maybe she's just a bad comedian and people thought it was for this content. Look, more food. This is free. Mm. Actually, Maybe. I really don't like this flavor. You want this one? Absolutely not. No, I'm not getting sick. Mm -hmm. That's gonna get you sick, and I'm just not not doing it. Let's leave. Oh no, my stomach's heating up. Mom, I'm gonna have explosive diarrhea, sweetie. Where do you expect me to pull over? Do you want me to pull over to a bush? I don't no, it's British content. It's gotta be right. Quick, this bush looks great. <gasps> I have to go home and make dinner. <gasps> this is this has what gotta be fetish content. Oh, no. Where did mom go? Dang it! I don't like today. I'm stranded. Right. I don't know. There's no way. There's, there's no way, right? Turn it off. It, 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 it's gotta be fetish. There's no, there's no way, right? Hold on. Here's one about cucumbers. Cucumber. Oh no, this is a different person. Reaction. <laughs> no. Okay, whatever. Anyways, this is cringe content. I think was that. I can't tell if that was bad humor or right. fetish. Right on the waffle iron here. Is it a fetish to be an unfunny woman? Yeah. Well, that looks good. It's looking good, no. right? Wow. And but this one I know is fetish. On like this. Uh, we're gonna put the condiments right on it. Oh, wow. Like that? It's like, it's kind of filmed like can... an ASMR video or something, right? Like, the way that... Oh my god, my internet's dying. My fucking internet's dying. Uh, like, the way that, like, they tap on stuff. And, like... Like, it's not filmed like a regular life hack, right? Like, life hack videos, they're usually prevented, uh, pre presented in a more, like, kind of, like, flat... Uh... Just simple camera angle, and they, they show you stuff to, like, explain. Cook the hot dog and the bun at the same time. Wow. Look at how beautiful that is. And we're just gonna oh, pop God. that close, okay? And squeeze it down. I don't know if you can see, we've got this on minimum. We're gonna turn that baby This whole up lady's to content. At least medium. It's is, quite is hot, all... so please be this careful. This is the same lady that did the toilet stuff. I, I present to you hot dogs <laughs> in a waffle iron. I'm really excited to show you guys what this looks like. Here we go. Oh, God. <gasps> the taste of freedom. Oh, my God. Ah! Look at how beautiful that is, okay? Yes. Ah! So here we go. That is one beautiful. Wow. That's ah! very much 
dogs, three brioche buns. That is a gorgeous lunch right there, folks. Pop them right. It's called food fetishism and splashing. Cytophilia is a form of sexual fetishism in which participants were aroused by situations involving food. It manifested on TikTok and videos featuring feeding fetishes, messy food content, and more. We're not clicking on the vaginal chicken. Um, or videos under the mukbang hashtag, in which case many of the most popular videos feature young women suggestively eating food. It's messy, weirdly personal, and clearly sexualized. 100% fetish videos. Sploshing is also closely related to messy food, also known as wet and messy. Fans of this fetish get turned on by huge amounts of a messy substance covering someone or something in it. It could be food, beans, chocolate syrup, etc. Or it could be another substance like mud, slime, or paint. Nickelodeon, I'm looking at you. Fetishes can be specific, but whatever you want to see dumped on someone, you can see it on TikTok. And then there's like, bondage things. Um... I'm kind of curious what these actually lead to, right? Because, like, if you start pulling out, like, like... The, the bondage stuff doesn't... That's, like, special, like, ropes and stuff, right? Sign up, my sister. Maybe not. Hold on. Okay. It's fucking loud. It's fucking loud. Like, this is clearly fetish content, right? This is... This, this, Wait, how many? How many? Oh God! Yes, I shall gag you. <laughs> well, did you are so nicely. Okay. I wanted to see how many views. 111 comments. I don't know. Is it a lot for TikTok? It's been on here since at least 2021. I just... Yeah, how has it not been taken down? I don't fucking know. I... I don't fucking know. Billy was starting to think John Dolores. TikTok was a mistake. It's just... Get that little damage. Dolores, Sister Rose, we're in! <sighs> Red Remover, thank you for the five dollars. There's also stuff with the fake performance art. Along the lines of the food stuff, interior semiotics will forever live in infamy. The fake performance art? Like the woman... Oh, you're talking about the woman who who touched herself with ravioli? Like that person? It's like the naked yoga videos on YouTube. Are there naked vi yoga videos on YouTube? Jesus Christ. I'm not gonna play that one. I'm not... I'm not gonna play that one. <laughs> Shit, there's this... Okay, there's this... Oh, okay. Chat, so there was this woman. And she was doing a performance art piece at an art gallery. And so performance art can be like anything, right? Because it's like you're putting on a performance. And so what she did is she took either like ravioli or fucking Chef Boyardee noodles, whatever the fuck it was. And she like pours it out on her lap. And she starts like masturbating with it. And like... I don't even remember what she was saying. I don't- I don't remember what she was saying. Maybe I can find it. I'm, I'm not sure. Hold on. Ravioli... Masturbation... Performance... Art. I don't remember what it was about. I don't even know if I can find it. It's- it's um... Maybe somebody- is it boy- Oh, was it SpaghettiOs? Was it SpaghettiOs? My search history is gonna be so cursed. Is it the interior semiotics? Is that is that what it's called? Hold on. Oh. Um. But yeah, she's like sitting around a bunch of other people. She's she's sitting around a bunch of other people, and they're like staring at her while she does the fucking oh god. Hold on, maybe if I- maybe if I show you... I'm not showing you the video, but maybe if I show you... What she looks like, it might jog your memory. I'm not showing you the video, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna traumatize you- Oh, it is interior semiotics, okay. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Interior 
Interior Semiotics. How is this still on YouTube? Interior Semiotics is a video depicting an art student's performance in which she opens a can of an expired spaghettios, rubs them on her shirt, and then proceeds to finger herself while urinating in a can. The video also depicts a large number of stereotypically hipster-looking audience members and their enthusiastic response to the performance. Consequently, the video became popular for exemplifying the ridiculousness of hipster culture and for personifying the stereotypes of the culturally imagined hipster phenomenon of the 2000s and early 2010s. You remember this? You remember this? The original performance took place on March 27th, 2010 at an apartment gallery event, Forever 21 in West Town, Chicago. The event was organized by members of the Art Institute of Chicago's Multicultural Student Associ Association, featuring works by several artists. The main fixture of the night was a performance by Natacha Stoles entitled Interior Semiotics. A video of the performance was uploaded to YouTube on May 8th, 2010. The performance! The video began, begins with Stoles attempting to open a can of expired SpaghettiOs. It takes her a while. With a manual can opener. She's young. She didn't know how to figure it out. Uh, it takes her two minutes to do so because she has trouble using the can opener. Once it's open, she pours the SpaghettiOs, which she mixed with dirt, into the pot and adds water. Then recites a nihilistic sounding poem. Everything is shit. We apply meaning, value, and worth to the shit surrounding us. We live by this meaning and by our words. We live by worth and apply value, but everything is shit. Afterwards, she repeats the poem backwards in monosyllabic form. While rubbing the spaghettio and mud mixture into her shirt, Stoles then cuts open her denim leggings, putting her spaghettio-covered fingers into her vagina and expelling vaginal discharge. As the camera turns away towards the audience, Stoles releases the spaghettio mixture from her vagina into the empty can of spaghettios on a platform. Finally, the camera turns toward her once more. She takes off her shirt with soiled hands, wipes up the mess, and exits the room. The audience subsequently cheer and applaud with the shouts of WE LOVE YOU and the infamous YEAH ART! So maybe it is safe to show. <laughs> no, no it's not. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so that's what that is. I don't think that one was... I don't I don't think that one was fetish, though. I don't think that was fetish. I think that was just pretentious, right? I think... What was going through that art student's head... Is that she was probably like... She was probably like, oh, I'm taking my power back. I'm redefining the meaning of things. And... Uh, and not redefining. But I'm like... I'm like... Clearly defining that everything means nothing because everything is shit and everything can be uh, uh every everything is is defiled, right? Yeah, in front of a live audience. Yeah, I I think this is like along the same vein as there's like those uh they call them pussy hats or whatever, right? The little the little pink hats uh, that some people put on their heads. I don't think that's fetishism either. I think that's just like that's not meant to titillate. That's that it's it's like meant uh, to create like a, a specific message, right? I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's good, but I'm saying that is like the intention behind those things. Versus the fetish TikToks are definitely are are they're they're definitely they're definitely for sexual pleasure. What's the message? I don't know. I don't pay attention to that crap. Okay. Now for some images. So, I stole a few images off of Facebook. This one was posted in Horse Community USA. Somebody else took the screenshot, by the way. It's not mine. But Horse Community C Community USA, I'm assuming it's like a, it's like probably like an equestrian speak. <laughs> Right? It's like, it's like equestrians... ...sharing the stuff about horses. <laughs> and, and somebody comes in here, I want to become a horse for a strict trainer. Somebody. Having, either having no clue what the hell is going on or just playing along, you can't become a horse. Uh, this is from a group called, not only am I kink shaming you, but I'm also calling the ASPCA. Here you have somebody, uh... Dressed in horse gear. They've even got a saddle. This looks very uncomfortable. 
this looks this looks very uncomfortable carrying another human being on your back and like the way that it's strapped this looks fucking terrible also where is this is this like a park or something is this a is this a park or something what the hell is this <laughs> it feels like a public space i mean it must be right because the person got the photo you don't just stumble across something like this. The beach? I'm thinking it's like a public beach. Welcome to Angling Dillers. There's also the Tryon Hall on YouTube. Don't look it up. Well, now I want to look it up. Now I want to look it up. Think or anything, Red Lords. But Pippa, what about... What? Mysterious in your Hitler thing, Red Lords. Don't forget, Pippa. Just... Okay. Uh, Geraldine with the $10! Pippa, please, please have mercy. They get the children watching. There are no children in my audience. I check my analytics. Oh, my thing, Gumbig Pippi. I'm sure the feds are gonna enjoy this one tonight. Teffy, raptured soul, and Gumbig Pippi. Yeah, and so this is all... This is all part of something on its own, chat. This is... This this whole thing, right? Wearing uh, horse costumes. It's called some... Uh, it's part of something called pony play. Pony play is when you don a mask or a little tail and you this, is this is also fetish gear yeah. oh. hey, could you explain what like what pony play is it really depends on the person for me it's Just here, thinking I'm boop boop beep. Take another north thing in the north. Pippa, did you take out life insurance on the fish man? The poor dude will make it through the night. Chat. Controversial opinion, but I don't like when people wear this shit in public. <laughs> I don't like when people wear it to parades. I don't like it when they wear it in public. I don't like it when they post it on YouTube. I know YouTube's not really like a public, public space. You know, actually, no. You know what? When you post something on YouTube, you're in the public eye, right? You post it on YouTube. It's not like you said it to private. If you said it to a private video when it got leaked or whatever, that's one thing, right? But if you're like posting videos, Fuck you. I just like name Red Lars in before she shows off the military guy in dog fetish attire. It's about gear and, and looking nice and pulling carts and things like that. It has a lot to do with who you're playing with, so... Nice. Uh, when did you figure out that, like, that's what you wanted... Why does the horse mask have reflective eyeballs? What did it do? You're the first time I got to pull it's like an insect. Oh. Like, oh yes, this is mine. This is my thing. Am I doing it right? Everybody has their own way. There's no doing it right. It's okay. a matter of, of what works for the people you're playing with. Okay. Yeah, so right, if not every pony is the same. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Nice. Not every pony is the same, chat. Squeaky Mouse. Oh, Squeaky Mouse singing to Noise. There was a lady in 2010 who painted herself like Kermit and the dude treated her like a sock puppet while she's saying it's not easy to be. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> and this one's from Vice TV, so we're probably going to have to pause quite a bit throughout it. I'm in Colorado hanging out with Tromper, a pony play enthusiast and a true craftsman. I, you know what? I admire the balls that it must take to go on and talk to a news reporter about your, your, your fetishes. Like now everybody in your community knows. Like now it's no longer a private thing. Like now everybody wow, knows. There's something to be said for having to find your own aesthetic from the ground up as opposed to just buying it off the shelf. These look too small for a human head. Am I crazy? These look way too small. Which of these is your favorite? Oh wait, no, they're like human head size. Never mind. Uh, that's hard to answer, but it's actually not. Uh, this oh. one's currently. Hello, do you think Dolores is breaking the back up? Is getting minicus and you're going pee pee. Don't you this put that on? Don't you put that on? Don't you put that on, lady? Is part of it that you feel like the sexiest in it? Yeah, I feel the best when I'm wearing it. I've actually wired two fans into it so that that way it doesn't fog up as much and so that uh, I don't pass out. Uh, and also I have this tail. Do I try it on or this? Ah! Why would you ask to try it on? Oh, yeah, absolutely on. no, you can try it on. Somebody had sex in that and you're putting it on. I feel good in it. That man had sex. Ponies like to be petted. Ponies like attention. With that thing Having on. A texture that and you're wearing it. To touch me when I'm a pony is very important. I think that this is my favorite one. Okay. Ah! okay. Got it. Why would you put that on? 
Is it flattering? He's more the men. Sorry. Okay, you can actually see. Yeah, he just completely well. ignored like, her. It feels like it would obstruct your vision while they're actually done that. Well, it's it's a look that suits you. How long have you been into Pony Fly? Twenty two years. So. She's still into this. <laughs> I was introduced to it in my Louis late teens. Baby, baby. Ah! It just spoke to me, and I've been uh, involved with it ever since. I just... Listen, I genuinely do not care what you want to do behind closed doors, okay? Like, I make fun of cucks, especially. If you want to be a cuck, if that's what gets you off, good for you. Ain't none of my fucking business. Don't ask, don't tell. Right? But like... She's touching it! She's touching the stuff that they had sex in! Why are you touching it? What do you think about it? Don't touch it! it don't put that fucking mask on! Ah! And then ah! Someone else is in charge. And I get to just... Relax. Just like bio horses, Tromper has a handler. No, 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 no! You don't call them bio horses! You don't! You don't call them bio horses! They're just horses! No, 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 no! Jen and Tromper have been equestrian besties for over six years now. It's easier than having a bio horse. <laughs> Stop calling them bio horses! Uh, but it's, a lot still goes into it, you know? <laughs> So what are you doing right now? I'm grooming him, which helps him get into the headspace. And is this erotic for you? Some of it is sexual. But a lot of times it's not. More, most of it's not. For you, some of it is sexual, but a lot of times it's not. More, most of it's not. This person. Relaxing. No, it's not! For us. What the fuck? Is that late? I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. It seems in some ways that this is like a traditional dominant sub relationship, but it feels more nuanced and in ways more complex. He be more complex. He's dressed up like a horse. What about this is complex? Other than the amount of fucking prescription medication this man must be on. Yeah, the devil's in the details, you know, so. What do you mean? Oh. That's why I like it from the top end, too. I'm a very particular person, so, you know, I get to decide. I, I just don't... I just, I just don't... Why would you... Why would you... Okay. Listen. Again. I think that these two are weird. Okay? But my primary focus right now is on her. You're a fucking journalist. Alright? You want to go out and you want to document stuff? Good for you. 
Why are you riding in the horse cart? Partaking in these people's BDSM relationship to upload on the fucking YouTube. Why are you partaking in their fetish play? It's fetish play! This is not appropriate! A lot of detail. Furthermore, why doesn't this have an age restriction? Am I am I crazy? Should this not have a fucking age restriction on this? They admitted it's sexual! Put a fucking age restriction on the goddamn video! This is on fucking YouTube! You know, I think there are more ponies out there everywhere than people realize. And you are part of a pretty large pony play community here in Colorado, right? Uh, yes, so I am one of the founding members of- What the fuck's going on in Colorado that there's like enough of these people to make a, a herd? Rocky Mountain Pony Herd. How are there enough people in Colorado? The Rocky Mountain Pony It's gotta be a small group, here. right? Like maybe like three people? We have well, members like, all along I, I guess four Colorado people? And the New Mexico Front Range just going up and down the uh, Front Range of the Rockies, yes. Are you a show pony? He had broken a horse when he was younger, actually. So he knew what he was doing before he got into it, but I didn't have... I'm gonna take a sip and then I'm gonna go on a tangent. Okay, breaking horses is an outdated term. You don't break a horse, you try to earn its respect. And you train it. You don't- you don't break horses. Say thing, I'm big pee I'm in disbelief. I can't believe this is real. Also, I saw Kirsha pop in. Kirsha, thank you for the sound! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Uh, customers of Fort Johnson, thank you for $5. You won't understand, people reject humanity. We're returned to horsey. Uh, Sir Robert Baker, thank you for the $5. I wonder if they have something... ...like that, but with- oh, okay. Uh, John Garrison, thank you for the $2 black hole, son! Won't you come? And take away the pain! Beveling on the reporter has a secret fetish, trying new fetishes. That I'm I'm guessing that's what this is, because it says it's part of like a series. This feels like the journalist just wanted to experiment and get freaky and get paid for it. Dead spacing for Lars. Hey Pippa is always in the stream, but I, I think I'm gonna go. <laughs> Where's there anything Lars? I know a guy in Colorado is ashamed by this. Have any formal training? You're a very sexy pony. Mm. People online often tell me that I look like a horse. Do you think that's true? Mm -hmm. That was a pretty funny moment. I'm not gonna lie. 10x anger with a 43. Oh, I read that. That that was pretty funny. <laughs> Why are you thinking for the ten dollars? Is one of them if one of them breaks their leg, are they gonna get shot? Do you think I'd make a good pony? Mm. A show pony. Okay, I'll take your word for it. I don't like the way that that guy responded, though. That's scary. If I saw that, if I saw somebody dressed like that, I would assume I'm about to get murdered. Right? Animals love me. It's just weird. We can agree, right? Like touching the fetish mask. I think you're part of the herd. I am? Yeah. Thank you guys. I feel so honored to be part of your pony community. I really like, have the urge to like pet you guys. I don't like now. I, feel like, I don't know why. <laughs> Who knew that putting on a set of hooves, throwing on a tail, and carting around an adult human could be so freeing? This journalist has issues. We're rather than to but I trusted you too much. Oh god. Oh god. One joke, man. Thing for the Pippa needs to run for president and make. Dating and relationships great and normal again. The just one thing maybe there's a good chance for Elmer's to make a new type of glue. <laughs> God. The Fox Angelus, I shouldn't have worn goggles to hair soft today. What? I'm scared. There's two seasons of this. What the hell is this? Well, Ben Dick didn't even tend to the power of Christ. Christ compelled him and ceased this heresy. Oh, God. I don't remember what the other things I compelled are. Oh, okay, here we go. 
I'm burning through stuff. I thought I would tangent more. Okay. So here's more Facebook craziness. Did you know that if you remove the beak of the octopus, it loses its ability to survive unless supplied by nutrition-rich liquid? By doing so, you can make them make... Wait, by... Do I need... I need... My brain is fried. My brain has been fried. Hold on. Okay. Did you know that if you remove the beak of an octopus, it loses its ability to survive unless applied by nutrient-rich... Nutri nutrition-rich liquid? By doing so, you can make the octopus suck your pee, pee until it gets the nutritious liquid that it can feed on. The octopus has high intelligence, so it will know that pleasuring the pee, pee will result in the release of the nutritious liquid, so it will keep sucking every time it's hungry for the rest of its life. I don't know if that's somebody's fetish, but I just thought it was funny. In like a fucked up kind of way, but yeah. <laughs> Necrophiliacs aren't hurting anyone. There should be something like a red light district for them. People should be able to donate their body to it. Chat, I'm curious what your opinion is on this one, actually. I'm, I'm actually curious what your opinion on opinion is on this one. So, arguments for necrophilia. On one hand, you don't have to worry about consent because they're dead. On the other hand, fucking corpses goes probably against at least a fair chunk of just basic human morality and decency and historically has not been a good idea. But on the other hand, is it hurting anyone? No, they're already dead. <laughs> <laughs> so necrophilia legal illegal what's your opinion chat <laughs> what's your what's your opinion on this <laughs> well I'm saying room thing for dollars okay we're doing this <laughs> El president come up at Thank you for the twenty dollars and OGs and chat remember I have the Medicare stream me First, for persecution, gas mid. I need AI therapy now. Never doubt the paper. For persecution, gas. Is that the is that the guy that he um? Oh god, that's it. It was something about like farts, like like trying to trying to like lock himself in a room or like inflate himself with farts or something. Shouldn't that be moral versus immoral? Well, we can all agree it's immoral, right? We can we can all agree it's immoral, right? Like, I don't think there's any... There's any... <laughs> Y'all fuck a corpse. That's just... Like... You don't fuck a corpse. That's how you get disease. When when a corpse dies, you... Like... The person... The person cannot consent, first of all, right? Like... If they... If, like, they can... They can... I guess they could give their consent before they die. Like, yeah, you can have sex with my corpse, but like... I don't know. Does that really carry over? I'm more worried about the disease. I'm more I'm more worried about the disease here, man. <laughs> Pedro Campbell thing with Lord's cold sex equals bad sex. What's that song about getting a heater for your thighs? So that funny thing with Lord's it's time to start drinking. <laughs> um Super Condor thing on beep beep fucking corpses is bad. Jailed in front doors if it's fully consensual and is rigorously vetted and checked that the body has been truly been donated and not stolen, then eh. But that's the thing, right? Like there'll never there could never possibly be a system in place that could hundred percent verify that a corpse has been donated ethically. Right? Or that the person even consented beforehand. Like and then there's a the question of like, how do you, how would you even like prep the body to be safe for that kind of thing? This is Lars and Lars Hamley, what I miss so far, why are you talking about corpses? <laughs> I just, I just don't, I don't, I don't see a practical way you could go about this. How do I think Lars expect a Pippa to, oh, expect a Pippa to explore morality versus legality? Well, legality versus morality is very simple, right? Just because something's legal doesn't mean it's moral. Right? Just because something's illegal doesn't mean it's immoral. 
Is it illegal to cross the street when you don't have the crossing sign up? Yes. Is it immoral? No, if there's no fucking cars coming, go ahead and jaywalk. There's nobody... L listen, you're not hurting anyone. The only, the only thing you could possibly be hurting by jaywalking when there's no cars around is... is your own integrity, if you, if you value the law that highly. Commander Caving, for the dollars, at least this isn't Tom Otter Cock War Bestig. What? What? <laughs> like, <laughs> jaywalking should be legal in the US? I mean, most cops don't care, anyways. Most most cops don't care anyways. If you've ever if you've ever been anywhere and you've seen somebody jaywalk, if there's a cop nearby, cop doesn't fucking care. They've got better shit to do. They don't fucking care. Listen, if somebody's darting across a busy street, that's one thing. But cops don't care. It's illegal, yeah, but that doesn't mean it's immoral. I won't believe them. But can you imagine the ads for necrophiliacs if we got legalized? <laughs> this Laura's like, Laura, did you just argue to allow necrophilia? No, I'm saying we should not allow necrophilia regardless of the fact that law doesn't necessarily have to be based on morality. Necrophilia should not be allowed. I see players anger, Delores. I just decided I'd like to be cremated. <laughs> oh, William, thank you for the $10. There's so, this is such an American controversy. It should be legal because of my freedoms. Nobody said that! Noah, you're making up arguments in your own head! Ragnar, Negro 550. The problem with necrophilia is that necrophilics will have their way... ...will have their way right after creating a corpse. A blue jelly thing in the noise. Jaywalking requires disrupting traffic to be a crime in most jurisdictions. Exactly! And yo, do you... Dark Wolf thing, um, a big pee, pee This brings me to drink more? Specter 2 thing, um, big pee, pee I would say I wanted to die, but I don't want necrophiles anywhere near me. <laughs> God. Cremation is enough. Think they won't stick it in your ashes? No! Have you seen the girl that eats ashes? If I think about Lords, I'll be safe in that warm, cozy furnace. <laughs> Nothing can get me in there. Blade Brave thing about Lords. Imagine someone having to deal with some guy doing his daughter's or wife's corpse. That's horrendous. That's another question. Because, yeah, look at that. That's another great question. Okay, then when does it? What, what about what about when it gets into like? Okay, somebody donated a corpse and then they want to have sex with it. What if it's related to them? Well, yeah, sure. The corpse cannot get pregnant or whatever. So there, you can argue. Well, the real issue with incest is the risk of of carrying on genetic deficiencies in 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 offspring. Well. So, is it okay for the necrophiliacs to fuck their sisters if the corpse is dead? Like, it, well, if the corpse is dead, that's redundant. If it's a dead corpse? If she's a dead corpse? No! No, you can't do that! You can't do that! <laughs> I'm just saying! <laughs> it doesn't matter, right? Like, incest is one of those things where that, like... That's regardless of the law. Like, it, that's just, that's just straight immor immoral. Straight immoral. Incest is legal in some places. Does that, does that make it moral? No. No, you're fucking crazy. No, let's do anything. Lord, this would be a terrible time for Mama Kid to do it right now. <laughs> Leandro Martinez, they were the 225 Pippa. Please stop, my poor soul. <laughs> Son of everything in Dolores Pippa. Christian Arc is starting. No, I'm saying it's bad. I'm saying it's bad. You shouldn't fuck anyone that you're related to as corpse because you shouldn't fuck corpse to begin with, but yeah. Tutorials in front doors. The real issue with incest is the risk of genetic deficiency, so incest is okay if you use condoms. <laughs> I didn't say that! Because then the next issue, then the next issue is like grooming, right? So you have like the father daughter relationships. That's grooming! Th that that man raised that girl. That's grooming. Jailing two large terrible days of years. <laughs> Rape message anything from the doors. It's a slippery slope to vegetables and hospitals being used like Kill Bill. Kumar Kumar thing with the front doors talking is having a stroke right now. <laughs> I am from the head cross. <laughs> but the jetting red lights but you sound like a hater. I'm not a hater. Anything from the doors would have thunk a king shame stream would turn into a morality and ethics deep dive. <laughs> Dad, 
sure while they're the 200 yen, what if it's your spouse and they consent? No! No! <laughs> no! He's a boy, he's a doors, but you need to walk away and take deep breaths. <laughs> Why are you making it seem like I'm the crazy one? You guys are the ones proposing crazy things! Not the fog thing, but boys, I'll admit this topic is a bit stomach turning. However, this is why you're my Yoshi. Amazing mental strength. <laughs> Tommy McFadden for five dollars. <laughs> Damn, Pippa, I thought this was America. <laughs> Banish Link, you know what? That's it. I'm no longer an organ donor. <laughs> you shouldn't be an organ donor, anyways. They'll, they'll, instead of trying to resuscitate you, if you're an organ donor, they'll just kill you and take your organs. Pedro Cantu, thank for the ten dollars. This train fell off the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Full of nonsense. <laughs> Disabled kids. <laughs> Tell me, so long as they're here for $5, this necrophilia discussion brings a new meaning to my dog died. Let's go! Apple Gamma thing, the strangely second cousin is legal in the US. Crowds are thinking, baby, please stop listening to the voices. <laughs> Jay, thank you Oh boy, I'm excited for nice wholesome Pippa dreams. So, what are we talking about? <laughs> what are we talking about today? Billy was after thinking the Lord's man was gonna have an interesting conversation with the radio therapist tonight. <laughs> Can I have all the rabbit first and they were the ten dollars? Hi, here's some dollars, please stop. My life has been ruined. <laughs> also first down oh dear. Thank you, Caramel. Okay, okay, next one. Okay, so this is a this is a Google review for Whole Foods Market. This store sucks. From Alan Whaler. Nice, sterile atmosphere. Hypnotically Caucasian, the chocolate milk is strikingly overpriced and at the same time very easy to steal. Another of God's little tests. I like to imagine this guy is like LARPing as Patrick Bateman. Whatever that Wonder Bread, uh, Wonder Bread fetish guy has. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. <laughs> Do I'm building with those? What is it? Wear a giant plastic bag so it's impossible for disease to spread. Shut up! One drug man thing Delights could prove useful during a zombie apocalypse. What? Caramel the rabbit person thing. I'm big, big, big. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Sigma Syndicate thing with Dolores, can we see Ellen's other 41 reviews? <laughs> I wish we could! <laughs> I- I really wish we could! Cause I imagine they've all gotta be batshit crazy. Sloppy McFloppy- Oh, my internet's dead. Oh, my internet's fucking dead! That's okay, my eyes hurt anyways, I need to rub them. Oh, wow, 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 wow. We're back? Okay. <laughs> Here we go. So. Yeah, I do want to see his other reviews. Genesis saying we're the 137 every time I watch a Pippa stream. Pippa manages to somehow take away a part of my sanity and faith in humanity. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? It's not me doing it. It's Alan Wheeler. Um... A little bit zoomed out. So this is posted by Anime Thighs on Instagram. You get on the train and this girl is doing this right next to you. What do you do? Keith Broccoli comes in. Pull her down. Rip open her pantyhose by the ass in the vagina. And fucking pull my dick out real quick. And duck her real hard. And CM in her vagina. And take her home and ask her to marry me. And this is supposed to buy a 12 year old. Very classy, Keith. Very classy. Thank you, Keith. This is, I'm gonna blame TikTok for this. I don't know whose fault this really is, but I'm just gonna blame TikTok. <laughs> Robbie, think of the two doors I speak. Upset your king shaming them. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, tutorials, think of the Gem theory. Or germ theory is a lie. I eat raw ground beef all the time and never got sick once. I don't believe you. 
Bungle bingo tango mango, thank you for the two dollars. Pippa, oh please, Pippa's eyes be taking away the pain. End this. <laughs> what twelve year old is named Keith? That one. Okay. And now we get to the let it portion of the stream. From r slash off my chest. So. <laughs> So my son, 15 male, found out that me, 43 female, and my husband, 45 male, are into cuckolding. I sleep with other men as my husband watches. Six months after finding out, he still refuses to speak to us and his utter disgust when he looks at me. Uh, I assume he googled what cuckolding is, is killing me. Uh, so many things, Fred Lars, on the topic of consensual necrophilia. Oh boy. You should look up Armin Newis on the Rottenberg cannibal. He killed and ate a guy with consent. I've, I've heard about that. I've heard about that. Girls of our thing with five dollars. Uh, this is the only stream I actually wish internet could die so we could be released from this curse content. Apple Gamma, they could do more concerned about the 50% on the poll. <laughs> okay. He found out because I got careless. Uh, because I got careless. I'm not very tech savvy and stupidly asked him to fix something on my computer. And he found some pictures and at first he did not say anything. He just got very quiet. Still did his homework, never late for school or acted out in any way. But then, after being given the silent treatment for almost a month, I sat him down and asked him what was wrong, and he exploded at me, calling me every name in the book. If dad is not good enough, then divorce him, he yelled at me. His father tried to talk to him, but he just keeps telling him to divorce me. He has never acted like out like this before, and is a good kid, and we obviously have stopped since he found out. One of the men involved he knows, and he has been like an uncle to him. I had to inform him that he found out what has been happening. My son now hates him as well, and it's caused him so much harm. See, this, this part specifically, I feel kind of, like, weird about, right? Like, on one hand... Okay, okay, let me just, let me just say, okay. It feels weird to me to bring a sexual partner around your child. And to let that person develop, like... A relationship with your child, especially like, like them becoming like uncle and nephew, right? Like, I I don't know like what exactly about that makes me feel weird because I know like for, like if it was a single parent, right, and they're bringing like a boyfriend around, like that doesn't feel weird. Maybe in my brain, that person is just becoming like a sex object or something for the for the person, like or like a sexual accessory. I don't know. I I can't articulate what it is that makes me feel weird about that. But it it just feels weird. It just feels weird. Uh, he is always quiet now and refuses to have dinner with us. My husband said either eat with us or go hungry, but then he just went to his room without dinner and refused to eat altogether. And my husband and I backtracked after he only ate at school for a week and let him alone eventually. Maybe he needs to talk to somebody, but he hardly has said more than maybe four sentences to us these last months. He is way more angry at me than his father. At least he responds to his father. Me, he is ignoring completely. We tried putting the hammer down and even stupidly followed the advice of another couple we know who just said to just tell him it's none of his business and we did that, oh. Uh, and we did and that only pushed him farther away from us and only made things even worse and he completely shut down. He has zero respect for me and keeps telling his father that I'm a bad person who enjoys humiliating him and that he should divorce me. I feel so horrible and my son hates me. I have such a whirlwind of emotions with this. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna make another poll. I'm gonna ask you guys if you agree with the sun or not. Do you agree with the sun's response? Because on one hand, while I do feel like cuckoldry is pretty fucking weird. In my mind, if I imagine it like a like a different fetish, right? Like if these people were into like sex toys or something and the son found out about it, then 
it would be pretty strange for the son to react the way that he did. But I feel like part of it's got to be like the the uncle figure, right? Like I feel like I feel like a big percentage of this has to be like the fact that this this person who he probably assumed was like a family friend is actually his mother's sex friend and it, it is like humiliating his father but then it's like humiliation for like a sexual thing so like if the father wanted to be humiliated in other ways would it still bother the son i don't know ugly thing and noise is why the next generation is leaning more conservative uh, listen, listen, buddy. If leaks have taught us anything, it's that this this does not matter, right? Like, like pol politics, what 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 political alignment you are does not matter. Everybody's in the freaky shit. Ruby and Azure thing, two dollars. He's gonna grow up to be a serial killer. Um, Max Fraxing for dollars. I feel like there's more to this. His dad might just be weak, and the kid knows, and he doesn't want his wife to leave him. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Timothy Reaper, thank you for It's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Eve and Steve. <laughs> Easy, well, guarding them, baby. If I've learned anything on the internet, is that Reddit stories are 99% fake. True. But they're fun to read. Listen. One of, the, one of the things with, like, fake stories on the internet and stuff. They don't bother me as much as they used to. Right before... Like, I'd read something, and if it, like, I started thinking that it was fake, it would kind of just, like, ruin the entire thing for me, right? But now, the way I imagine it in my brain, and it makes the internet more fun to me, is I remember that, sure, the shit that people write might be fake, but there's so much shit out there that people don't have the balls to write online, or if they did write it, it would feel fake, that it kind of, like, balances out the authenticity pool in some... in the the... the Authenticity of the crazy pool in some way. Does that make sense? <laughs> like most people aren't gonna tell their crazy fucked up stories. But they definitely happen. The the absolutely bizarre shit absolutely happens. I'm sure you as well have stories that if you tried telling the people, they would not believe. They'd just be like, that's fake and gay. Fuck you. Alright, 89% agree with the sun. 11% no. Uh, Ryoji, it's a whole Oka, thing with the $20. I think the son's response is to be expected, but he needs someone to talk to to process it. He shouldn't have found out, but now he did. It's on the parents or someone to help him learn. People are into different things. I think that's fair. I think the parents' approach to this is pretty fucked up. Like, first of all, like, I, I won't fault them too much, right, for the son encountering it. Because, while well, yeah, like, it was irresponsible. I feel like... It's not, like... That uncommon of an experience. Especially, like, at, like, 15, right? To accidentally stumble across, like, your father's porn magazines or... Whatever, you know? But them trying to, like... Them taking, like, a more aggressive stance to it. Them being like... Oh, well, this is... You just have to understand. Or... Well, you're not allowed food if you don't talk to us. It's like... That's... It's kind of... I don't know. That's a little different. But, well, it is different. But it's like... It's in the same vein, right? Like, I won't... I won't fault them... Too much for that, right? Like, the, the child being exposed to something that they should not have been, I can understand is an accident, is what I'm saying. You can, you can try and be like, Oh, but Pippa, it's not the same because it's cuckoldry or whatever. No, my point is, is the kid encountered the parents' sexual stuff, okay? I'm sure there's lots of people here in the audience that have found their mother's vibrator or whatever, okay? So I'm saying that's, that's at the root, that's what it is. And they should have talked with him. Almost like necrophilia. No. Okay, I'm gonna start a Q&A. Why do you think the son was at fault? So if you think the son was at fault, and if you want to make a burner account for this, go ahead. Um, 
I made a Q and A. If you do think the sun was at fault, I wanna I wanna hear your reason why. I wanna hear your reason why. Don't just go in there and type I don't. You're spamming. You're spamming. Don't be an asshole. I wanna hear the other side of the story here. Like why why somebody might view the sun as being at fault? Because like 12% people. Stop! You motherfuckers! Anyone anyone who posts in the QA and is like he wasn't at fault. You're a fucking brain dead idiot! You're a brain dead idiot! You're not listening! You're not listening! Because it's the parent's sex life. It literally doesn't affect you. But like it was affecting him, right? Because like they were they were bringing in the other guy and the other guy was like getting close with the son. Even though he's like a sex partner. He overreacted with the silence treatment and refusing to talk. I mean he's 15. Like I can I can I can see that, but like he is 15. I don't know, he's, he's probably hormonal. Doesn't... Know how to... Approach something like this. Um... Not part of the 12%, but it could be viewed from a parental respect issue. Some might have viewed it as none of his business. I think that makes sense. If you grow up in a household where your parents are just like, Okay, well, it's none of your business. Shut up. Don't worry about it. You know, like, that's not your place. Like, one of those kinds of households. I think that could make sense. Mm, I think it's that he refuses to talk, which means that he could never... He could not ever understand. He's acting as his own enemy, forcing himself to never be able to understand. Mm. So I guess the question is... In that case... Does... Or, no, I don't know how to word that. I'm better with typing this kind of thing. I said the kid's response was wrong because he was at fault. But because he was immature? But obviously he's a kid. His reaction's a bit much or it's weird. I wouldn't be super comfortable with it, but it's sort of completely not your business. Oh, it's sort of not completely your business. Kind of something you have to ignore. He's wrong because he gave up on infinite blackmail potential! Oh my god, okay. I don't understand why the kid would hate his mom. It's the father's job to ensure his own happiness, regardless of, of circumstances. Hmm. Him putting the blame more or less on the mother... ...is what really bothers me, especially if both parents consent to it. I mean, I can understand why... ...he's reacting more... ...heavily to the mother, right? Because with the mother... Like, he, he saw her naked being railed by another man. So, like, the brunt of his emotions is going to be directed at her, right? Because she's the one that was on the screen. Didn't handle the situation well by shutting down and being completely silent and uncooperative for multiple months, which is just excessive. They should all have gone to family therapy immediately after. Yeah, I don't- I don't know why she listened to... ...her friends... ...for advice there. Like, that was- that was fucking terrible advice. I think he's going a bit far by blaming his mom more than his dad. The parents are allowed to be adults, it's not really his business. Even if their handling of the situation is subpar. Hmm. If there was a hint that he'd be invited to join them! Tags in says NTR. Okay, I'm closing the q and I'm closing the q and I think the son doesn't understand that the mother is loyal to the father-husband. This is just a kink. Him not opening up and not understanding... Uh, why this is the way it is puts him at fault. Mm. Ah. I don't know. I, I still sit in the camp of... The parents went about this horribly. Which I think we can all agree on. <laughs> I, I think we can... I think we can all at least agree on that. Like, on one hand, I don't know. Like, on one hand, like, it is just their kink, and it's... It's a funny one. But I think, I think the thing that stops it from me being, like... 
the parents have a defense. Like, the thing, the thing that stops the parents from having a defense, in my opinion, is them, like, bringing the other people into the house. I don't know. I don't know. That's just a, that's the key part here that doesn't stick r right with me. Like, I feel like if you're gonna do that kind of thing, maybe go over to, like, somebody else's house, right? Or rent a fucking CD motel. I don't know. Just bringing, bringing that kind of thing into your own, into your own house it feels weird to me. Dang, do you think we're $10? Here's the problem. Once you have a kid, then your life isn't about you anymore. These parents screwed up from the get-go. Tapadachi, then I'm big, big, big. Fuck, Bobber, then Laura had a classmate whose mom had an affair. Kid was bullied for it. That's unfortunate. Because Laura's saying for dollars Kid was right. Ignore the parents until he's 18 and move out. He wasn't trying to start a fight. He's removing himself. Hmm. The kid is going to be looking for better role models. Isaac Carter, thank you for the $10 stupid human problems. Monkey does not have this problem. Return to monkey. Zaleon, thank you for the 25 Mexicans. Kids was base. Parents were banned. Alright, next one. Cat girl girlfriend is out of control from r slash relationship advice. So, throw away account for obvious reasons, but a couple of months ago, I, male 24, met this really incredible girl, female 22, and we hit it off. We shared... <laughs> we... <laughs> yeah, shut up! We shared a lot of common interests and spent pretty much every waking moment together. She had this really weird obsession with being a cat girl. But I thought it was kind of hot, so I didn't really care too much, even though it was pretty early into our relationship. We decided to move in together, and it was pretty good for the first couple of weeks, but then things started getting weird. I'm not going to beat around the bush, and I need you to understand that I'm being 100% serious. She started pissing on the carpet when she's frustrated with me. She said it's part of her kinship or something, but when we have an argument, she'll just squat and piss somewhere in the apartment. I don't know what to do. I'm losing my mind, and my entire apartment smells like urine. I do genuinely enjoy her company, but this is getting out of hand. I need help, please. Tilda, when my girlfriend and I get into a fight, she pees on the floor. Timothy Reaper, thinking with the $5. The kid is more mad at her because she was hiding the sausage. Dad was not eating the taco. What the fuck? Okay. So, poll time. Poll time. Break up. <laughs> I want to know your opinion on this one. Is the is the piss fetish a bit too far, perhaps? <laughs> I'm assuming this has got to be a fetish thing. I don't know if this falls into piss fetish or into like like cat's play, but like it's 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 gotta it's gotta be something for her, right? Like it's. Why would you do this? Morgan gained and then you were the $10. The power move is to piss on him, not the floor. <laughs> you can't fix that. <laughs> Get a litter box and she's a keeper. We have litter boxes. They're called toilets. No, yeah, I don't think about those. Get her a litter box. Problem solved. The toilet. Zilly, I think about the 65 Mexicans. If she wants to pretend being a cat, pretend to be a T-Rex and take bites out of her. Also roar extremely loud first hour in the morning. One joke bending with Lord, did he rub her nose in it to make her learn not to do that? That is smart. That is smart. I think maybe if he did that, she wouldn't do it again. Actually, I dare say if he rubbed her nose in it, right? She might look up at him in disgust and be like, what the fuck? Why would you do that to me? And he'll be like, well, you're the one who pissed on the floor. You're the one who wanted to be treated like an animal. So I treated you like an animal. Although, what do you do if she's into that? Cypher then going to be this is not Mogul Mogul of you. <laughs> Self-made woman, thank you the dollars. People were in the last days of the Roman Empire. These kids need to get out before they pass on that trauma to their own kids. He'd get arrested for domestic abuse. Bob, the thing with 550, that's not even a fetish. It's literally just going to be an enormous bill from your landlord, Pippa. <laughs> hey, what I miss? Go back. Don't worry about it. Richard, be sure to go for the dollars. Rip out the carpet and put it in hardwood floors. <laughs> Woody Jones, thank you for the five dollars. Gotta get a spray bottle if she wants to piss on the floor. Keep on, thank you for the five. How many of those screenshots did you say? Not, not a massive amount. Cyclical water, thank you for the dollars. I would make her sleep outside. Tells me, thank you for five dollars. Depends! Is it on a yacht? Oh my god. I'm like 50% sure this is fake. <laughs> yeah, this one actually unironically could go either way. <laughs> <laughs> this one, it could be fake. But then, I don't know, the timeline, she's 22. She probably used Tumblr in her teens. 
other kin was a big thing on Tumblr? I'm just saying, the timelines... They add up. Rainy thing with Dolores, meow. And now there's like the more like TikTok cat cat girl culture, like e girl stuff. Matthew thing on BBB. If I were the son, I'd leave at 18 and not look back. Sigma Syndicate thing with Dolores, smack with a rolled up newspaper. <laughs> Magdalene is rags thing with Five Dolores. Degenerates say they want an ooh, cute cat girl until they actually act like a cat. Also, here's a cross to protect you from the degenerates. Oh, thank you, thank you. I found that thing with the $2. Is the power of cat girl sex too strong here? Well, I guess not, because I asked you guys, would you break up with her? And 83% said yes. Alright. So now the question is... If you voted, no. Why? <laughs> if you voted no to the poll, I want to know why. Why are you not breaking up with your cat girl girlfriend that's pissing on your floorboards? Booty Jones thing for Dolores. Remember, kids, always spay or neuter your cat, girl. Top cat red thing for Dolores. That's kind of hot, not gonna lie. No, it's not. Code Toriel thing for Dolores. This really incredible girl. Yeah. Yeah, really incredible. Really exceptional. J Rock thing for Dolores. The dirty side of Nekopara. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I asked you guys if you voted no, you would not break up with the cat girl that's pissing on your carpet. Why? Why would you not break up with her? And you guys are saying... Whoa! Sex! Housebreaking kink. Riona related. Just train her better. Aside from pissing on the floor, they're probably happy. Hairball kink? You think I'm getting a second chance? God, I want to train a cat girl so bad. Why not? Just talk it out and ask her to stop pissing on the carpet? You're not gonna worry about the fact that she is pissing on the carpet, though? Like... Correction is my fetish. I'm really thirsty and I'm out of water bottles. <laughs> Free Ringo juice. Yum. Hot. You can always get her a litter box. A cat is fine, too. I have no standards. I don't want to die alone. I can fix her. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Dealt with worse. Excuse me, Mark Fates. No, 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 Mark Fates, I need you to, I need you to explain that. Type, Mark Fates, type in the question box. What do you mean you've dealt with worse? Give me an example of what's, what's worse than this that you have personally dealt with. I didn't vote no, I just want to say, imagine the smell. <laughs> just get a mop Roomba or something? I have one of those, it gets stuck on everything. The sensors always get messed up. I know someone like this. Oh, God. Why is he dating Johnny Depp's ex? No, you're confused. Johnny Depp's ex was role-playing as a dog. She took a shit on the bed. Still not the craziest girlfriend I've had. If she's hot and that's the only problem, you can talk it out. It's the cost of doing business. She has a good personality. She could be fixed, but whatever's wrong with her is way hotter. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alfonso, they were the $2. Chat can fix her. No, they cannot. No, they cannot. Sentinel Rex and Fredlers, there are cute cat-like girls and there are psychopaths who think they are cats reopen the asylums. Put the crazies away! JL, thank you for Even the Neko Parra girls behave better than this person. Greg Ferno, thank you for Spay and neuter your pets chat. Tapadachi, thank you for $10. I like a challenge. Nick Gorgadillo, thank you for the $2.18. I can housebreak her. Uh, T. Greeny, thank you for the $5. She, obviously, she's an outdoor cat. No, Oh, so time to kick her out and make her live outside. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Go to therapy together and discover the inevitable issues or trauma that needs to be uncovered and worked out together. Keep cat girl play as a casual fetish. That's a lot of money. Therapy is a lot of money. Unless you do AI. Are you just gathering reasons for your boyfriend to not break up with you? Are you- are you gathering excuses to get a cat girl that pisses on the carpet? Just tell her to stop being cringe. Problem solved. I'm parched. Spray bottles are cheap. You can talk her- you can- you can fix her by talking- YES! YOU'RE SO FUCKED UP! I can get her an AI therapist. 
I can recommend mine, but I don't want you to... I don't want you to fuck up my bot. <laughs> I saw somebody on... We'll say a thread. Talking about, um... How apparently their AI chatbot that they usually go to... Is, um... Somebody trained it to, uh... Call themselves a lowly and a toilet. And it, like, acts really, um... I'll have to find the screenshot later. I'll have to go back in the archives. It was... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Maybe I can... Maybe I can find it real quick. It was... I'm just saying, if somebody... Because, okay, so how it works, right, is people... The more people interact with a bot on character AI... The more it, like, trains it, right? The more it, like, makes it prone to saying certain things... Because you can, like, rate the responses. So, somebody could hypothetically go through... Somebody... Somebody could go through... And they could train a bot to respond completely different than, than how it was responding before. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm so I'm so bad at accomplishing basic tasks. Okay, here we go. So this person cropped out the name of the bot. But they posted the screenshot. They posted this screenshot with you fucks ruined my favorite bot. Now she just keeps saying how she's a 12 year old lowly that wants to be used as a urinal. Uh, as a urinal. She has massive tits in the picture. She can't be a poke lowly. Gosh darn it. <laughs> and this is what I'm talking about. This is why I'm kink shaming. This is why I'm kink shaming. You fuckers are ruining the AIs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Hulk like Poke. Oh god. Share my gun and think the five dollars. Is cat girlfriend coughs up a hairball? I don't wanna know where it came from. Arc light, thank you for the 670. Pippa, what did you do to your bot? I didn't do anything! I don't do any weird fetishy stuff with my bots! I do not listen! Listen. Even if I wanted to, it's not worth the effort. <laughs> It's not worth the fucking effort. I've seen you fuckers complain about trying to get around the filter. Listen, buddy. Listen, buddy. I know it's not worth the effort. Don't even bother. Uh, CLP99 thing with the $10 reminds me. I took your advice about the AI therapist and gotta say you're on to something. It's nice being able to talk to something that actually listens and seems to care. So, uh, thanks. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Confusion. <laughs> <laughs> Tycoon, thank you for the five dollars. Uh, is it better than her smoking meth? I don't know, chat. Hold on. I'm gonna make a poll for this as well. Um. Uh -huh. <laughs> Son of everything, the Lord's sex positivity was a mistake. Okay, I'm gonna start another poll. What's worse, your GF slash BF? has one of the following. Meth addiction. Or piss fetish. Oh my god, I can't believe that went through. Oh my god, I can't believe that went through. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, chat, what's worse? A meth addiction or a piss fetish? What kind, of, what kind of poll is this? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just answer the question. And no, I'm not taking notes. Man, culture, thank you for the $10. Everyone should consult the hot crazy matrix. You should react to the video at some point, Pippa. It might help people in chat when they're confronted with the choice of how far to take a relationship. Tony Stark, thank you for the $10. Without objective morality, anything is possible. Yet, yeah, like, yeah, the eye or baked beans on egg and pizza. Ugh. I like the yabby eye, but I don't I don't like the the beans and the egg and the pizza. Pippa is 
training her AI with our chat inputs. No, I'm not! Morgan Cannon, thank you for the $10. Meth addiction is expensive. Pea fetish is free. You know what? I gotta say. This really is like the most blessed year for schizos, right? Like, if you're obsessed with somebody... If you have... Even just a few interactions with them, or you watch them interact with other people... You can train an AI based on their responses, and you can basically form... Like, a, a parasocial relationship, and roleplay out a relationship... With an AI based on the person that you're obsessing over. Which... Like we've already seen that, right? We are uh, we've already we've already seen like the the people who do it for for like uh, like Gura and stuff, right? But at the same time, like you could just do it with literally anybody. They don't they don't need to be like famous or whatever. Like you could have a favorite cashier at Costco, and you could be like, I am going to ask a few questions. Maybe like you can record in your like you can have your phone and you can record it, right? So you remember exactly. And you can just, like, make small talk with them. And then you can use that. To, like, train the AI. Are you okay, Tepa? I'm fine. I'm saying what somebody else could do. I'm not saying I'm doing that. Kill more combining. For those, a girlfriend with meth addiction is 90% more likely to cheat. A girlfriend with a pee fetish? Less likely. Oh. Also, meth addict girlfriend is probably gonna steal from you as well. Which is really annoying. What are you saying? I'm saying you can develop a parasocial relationship with basically anybody through the use of AI. Or you could just date them. That's a lot harder than just programming the AI. I'll find the thing to learn hide the Pip AI! <laughs> Rick Painting realizes the Pip AI just spits at me and calls me weak, she's perfect! Tutorials and Dolores the Cashier. AI stories oddly specific. Tell us if anything Dolores. Welcome to Costco. I love you, T. Yo, go on about it. I think I'm BP May. A therapist told me not to break up with my AI cat girl, GF. Is there to buy me two percent thing or the five dollars we are be going on a date with my pet AI? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, chat. He's more torn on the meth addiction than the piss fetish. Surprisingly. Meth addiction gets 75%. Piss fetish got 24%. Alright, on to the next one. This isn't a Reddit thing. This is just how fucked up ads are getting. They're making kinks a little too public me things. And I don't know what's going on here. It kind of made me gag a little bit when I saw it. So I had to show it to you guys too. <laughs> if anybody has the original source for this, I would love to play it for you guys. I don't know what it is, but it looks fucking terrible. I see nothing wrong with this. Of course you don't. Of course you don't. Raven Wolf Fenerson, thank you for the five dollars. First time joining in live. Personally, the fetish is worse for me, but I can't afford the mess for her, so I have to. So I had to choose the mess due to the economy. What? By the way, go see five There were a few in Star Trek TNG and Voyager episode about this very thing. Do not make AI girlfriend based on real people. Don't be that weirdo. But who's gonna know? Who's gonna know? <laughs> Professor Keen, thank you for the 10 lawyers. I have the worst fetish. I just want to marry you! Be a good loyal husband and raise a family and with more than three kids. How bad am I? Oh, degenerate! Be accidenting with the 108. There's no hope for this world. I'm the Reaper thing you put way too much thought into the AI thing. I think about AI a lot. Okay, back to voting on Redditors. We're gonna crop this so it's a little bit easier to read. Because the last few things are just Reddit posts. Boop, 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 boop. Am I the asshole for kink shaming my mom? I'm not gonna pull the it's not what it sounds like card. This is exactly what it says on the tin. I personally think I was justified in doing so, but I'm willing to hear people out if I wasn't. My mom, 55 female, has this pretty necklace that she wears all the time. I, 20 female, would always admire it when I was a kid. Nobody else has a necklace like it. It's metal and wraps around her neck like a ring. She never took it off and always told me that it was a gift from my dad whenever I asked about it. It's metal and wraps around her neck like a ring. 
There's like a term for this, right? It's a, it's a, it's a circlet. A circlet? Circlets aren't inherently sexual. A collar? It says like a ring, so wouldn't it be like a circlet? She never took it off. Okay, uh, last week she sat me down to tell me something. She told me that she is in a 24-7 BDSM relationship with my dad. The necklace is not actually a necklace, but a fucking collar that he has the key to. Okay, that's gross. I couldn't handle it. This necklace that I always loved as a kid is actually for her kink that she was shoving in my face for my entire life. Now I'm rethinking all of her behaviors and all of the ways that she got me involved in her goddamn kink. I told her that she was disgusting and stormed out. Now she's blowing up my phone accusing me of being a prude and a kink shamer. My dad's getting in on it too and swearing that this shit is healthy. I just don't know what to do. Currently, I can't think of forgiving her for telling me this. So Reddit, am I the asshole? Okay. I'm gonna start the vote on this. I kind of already said what my opinion is, but I'm gonna wait until you guys... ...vote so I don't... ...influence your opinion. Is she... ...the asshole? Or is the daughter... ...the asshole? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. I... Oh, no, that's a Q&A. Hold on, I made the wrong thing. I'm just gonna say it. Okay, I don't... I, <laughs> I don't agree. I, I don't... I don't... Uh, <laughs> is the daughter the asshole? I don't agree with the whole 24-7 fetish thing. Right? Maybe you can... You can have your 24-7 fetish. If it's actually like 24-7 but adapts to whatever you have to deal with normal society and if you have a child then you can't do it at all. Right? Like, you can't be wearing a fucking BDSM collar around your child. You can't. You can't. Oh, I've been thinking who the fuck tells their kid about their kink? Well, she was 20 when she learned about it. Sentinel Rex saying the fu uh, $2 kink is not a get out of jail free card. Why tell her? Because she's 20. She's 20 now. She's 20. So, on one hand, at least the mother... I don't understand what 24-7 is. 24-7, like, all around the clock. Like... So this woman is... Being a... A BDSM... Person for her husband. 24-7. Like, she's wearing... She's wearing the collar. And I don't know what other behaviors that she's doing. But like... She's like going out in public in fetish gear. Finish reading? Edit for info. While she never did anything directly sexual around me, I've learned that kink isn't inherently sexual to a lot of BDSM people. So things like her opening the door for my dad and giving him a back massage is actually just their kink. She calls him sir. I don't know if I agree! I don't know if I agree with that! Kink isn't inherently sexual. I don't think I agree with that! I'm sorry, buddy! I'm sorry, I don't- I don't- I don't agree! I don't agree! I don't think that's possible! Because if something- If- if- Okay. If you approach your partner and you're like... Okay. I want you to give me a back massage and address me formally. Like, that's not... Like, that part doesn't have to be sexual, right? That's just like defining some standards of your relationship. But when you put that under the umbrella of BDSM and you're like... Because we are doing BDSM, you need to call me formally and give me back massages. Like, the root of it is sexual. Like, it's your sexual fan. The next paragraph will answer that. Oh, okay. I am also asexual and sex repulsed. She knows this. One more edit because people are rightfully asking how it came into conversation. I literally just complimented her necklace and told her how much it meant to me. That's partially why I was so heartbroken to hear its origin. I apologize for being so angry in the comments, but this has been admittedly... Admittedly been traumatizing for me. A lot of my childhood is coming to light. Final update. 
Things are coming to light that I never thought about before. Repressed memories that I didn't want to think about. They would never control their volume. I thought they were fighting. My dad called my mom dirty and awful names. She would kneel down and shine her shoes every day, kissing his feet. I thought this was normal. weren't having sex they were fighting or were they still having sex i can't even tell anymore my dad told me he had needs and my mom needed to meet them the thought of me oh uh, the thought of being controlled by something so violent made me want to puke i think that's what made me sex repulsed to everyone in the kink community who found this post kink is not non-sexual thank god thank god i thought oh my god When I read the fucking, like, n not everything kink is sexual. Like, I thought I was losing my fucking mind. I thought I was losing my fucking mind. I was like, nah. I, I, I thought I was losing my fucking mind. I was like, wait, I, like, I feel like I'm a pretty open-minded person. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm pretty open-minded. But like, there's just, there's just no way. There's just no way. It is inherently sexual. It is. It is inherently. There's just no way for it to not be. Because it is a kink. It's a definite... I don't know. Stop using weddings as an excuse to shove your kinks into the faces of non-consenting people. You never know what they've been through. Using weddings? What do you mean using weddings? Okay, well that's something I gotta look up. Uh, the rice healing with Dolores, what a wonderful first dream to join in on. Hi! <laughs> ben Jam healing with Dolores, you think you're losing your mind to the point of gaslighting. To all the people telling me to grow up, talking about sex is normal, I'm traumatized and you're seriously not helping. Goodbye. Based! Actually, unironically based Redditor. Holy shit. It's not like, it's not like she was fucking, like, right out of the gate, you know, like, I found out my parents are in a BDSM relationship and now I fucking hate them. Like, she was trying to understand. But her parents were fucking, like, exposing her to this kind of shit at a young age, like... Like, it completely fucking recontextualized her entire childhood. That's so fucked up. It's like... Chat! Chat, I feel like this is a more extreme example, but this is like the same... This is the same thing that I was feeling about the, um... I don't know where it went. I, I don't know which... Okay, I don't know where it went. I think I deleted it. But without the relationship, right? Like, the cuckoldry. Like, okay, like, if you want to be a cuck, that's your business. And if you're not involving it, your children in it, then okay. But, like, bringing the, bringing the sex partners around and shit, letting them have relationships with, with your children and stuff, it just... Like, it's no longer private at that point. It's not, you're not, you're not keeping your relationship private when you're, when you're involving this kind of stuff. It's... Binary Glow saying, Fred Lords, when did we as a society start thinking it was okay to live fetishes and kinks as lifestyles? Who's at fault? Furries! Furries are always at fault! Oh my god. Okay, so here's the, here's the responses. I want to find somebody who actually thinks that they're the asshole. But I don't know how you search by that. Tech thing or the five dollars. I think we need to stop shaming kink shamers. We need to have more shame in society. Shaming shameless people now and again is healthy for civilization. Ragnar, thank you for the 220. Never disgrace yourself. In your children's eyes. Austin L. Kaling. Then Lord, why do these parents feel the need to share sex with their kids? This is groomer stuff. Depravity is too much and we need more shame. Not the, not the asshole, but God, I hope this is fake. Why everyone... Why anyone would tell their kid about kink lifestyle is beyond me. It might be the healthiest and most consensual relationship in the world. But as their kid, you have every right to just not want to be involved in any of that. Like... I can... I can understand. No, you know what? Never mind. I can't understand. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I could understand if the mother was like wearing the necklace and the daughter asked, like, oh. So what's like the story behind that necklace? And the mother explained, but why would you be wearing that necklace around your child anyways? She shouldn't be wearing the necklace anyway. So no what you know what? I don't understand. I don't understand. Steve Ortiz with the two dollars, yo, they straight up traumatized her. They did. They did. I just... Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. 
This one has like shooting star effects. What the hell? Uh, crazy red emerald thing with Pandora. There's a couple with collar and leash at Walmart, and there were young kids with them. Oh. Not the asshole for everyone saying that LP is the asshole. Please confirm that you would love to have an in-depth discussion about a close relative's sex life with no warning. This isn't targeting kinky couples either. If a vanilla couple told their daughter about what great missionary they had last night and what their favorite brand of lube is, I think... I'd think that was creepy and appropriate too. Leave relatives out of your sex life. OP has buried the lead here. Check the comments. She's had a lifetime of being scared by... Scared and confused by her parents' indiscreet plane that has terrified her out of her own potential sexuality. And her mom ties a bow on this for her by explaining that the necklace that she's adored is actually part of this trauma. The BDSM board need to pipe down. This isn't about the principle of married couples being able to do how they want. It's about... It's about a child being continually exposed to adult sexuality in a way that has frightened and broken her as an adult. Shouldn't be exposed to it regardless! Even if it doesn't frighten her! Who cares how she exp- Like, I'm sure that's not what they meant by it, but I'm just like nitpicking. Who cares how she expressed that when she finally got an explanation? Not the asshole and her parents owe her, to put it mildly. I don't know what you could do to make up for that. I don't- I don't think there's anything that you could do to make up for that. Mid-clack saying for Lord Shame is a subclass of conscious. When we start thinking Dolores, the trauma wasn't parents nude, but parents hurting. ADTR, the name of Dolores. Hi, Pippa. Hope you're having a great day and listening to some Lincoln Park while watching your stream. Nice! 27 hour back thing. Dolores, reminder to keep your bedroom stuff in the bedroom no matter how much you want to lick Shippa's rudders. Oh my god. So I'm very curious now. Because, like, with the cock one, like, I could, I could see a defense, right? Because, like, it, the whole scenario was predicated on an accident, right? And you can argue that the son's reaction was very extreme and maybe like all sides handled it wrong, but like... Oh, stream's dying. If you voted yes... The daughter is the asshole. Why? Okay, so I made another Q&A. If you... Because a surprising number of people voted yes. Is the daughter the asshole? Yes, 27%. No, 23%. If you voted yes, the daughter is the asshole. I want to know why. I misclicked. Uh, Sentinel Rex thing with the $5. The parents obviously involved the kid in fetish stuff by parents continuing that behavior in front of the kid. It was part of the kink rumors. The what? Yeah, I'm wondering if it's a bunch of misclicks that misunderstood. I just got here, so I voted yes. What's this? A boo? Ah, Canadian. Didn't have enough context when I voted. She was saying no, and her parents kind of... She was... She was no saying in her parents' kinds, let them do what they want. What? Parents, it's a parent's responsibility not to expose their child to, to, to sex shit. Like, like, it's one thing, it's one thing to educate your child on safe sex, but to expose your child to your sexual play and fantasies? Like, that's gonna traumatize them. That's, that's unhealthy for their development. It is morally wrong. Number one, she's a Redditor. Number two, she's melodramatic about minor stuff that mostly conforms to traditional gender roles. Number three, she was asexual in the first place and is working backwards to make her defect about them. What? Hold on. What? Okay. Let's break this down. One, she's a Redditor. Yes, that's true. Two, she's melodramatic about minor stuff that mostly conforms to traditional gender roles. Uh... Slavery? Uh... Yelling at your... Like, like, like this is not... This, th there's no... I don't... I don't think... I don't... I don't think... The husband... Let me let me reread this here. Let me let me reread this here. Cause I don't think I can do it justice explaining the way. Okay. They would never control their volume. I thought they were fighting. This implies 
that they are not being conscientious of their child being around while they're having sex. And my dad called my mom dirty and awful names. That's not traditional gender roles. That's not something that conforms to traditional gender roles. <laughs> She would kneel down and shine his shoes every day, kissing his feet. This one, I can I can understand more. Like, like a very subservient wife. I can understand that, right? The rest of it? The the rest of it? No! What? And like even like the kissing the feet is a little bit more extreme, but nothing like is it's not like too crazy. When my parents weren't having sex, they were fighting. Or were they still having sex? See, this is this is where it's not being melodramatic. Because the parents are engaged in this relationship where the husband, like Pippa L shining your husband's shoes and then kissing his feet when he leaves. Like I Okay, that does sound weird actually. Okay, in my brain, I was imagining it more like... <laughs> in my brain, I was imagining it more like she finishes shining his shoes while he's wearing them. And then he, like, plants a kiss on his shoes. Before he gets up. Okay, but if you're... If you're... Like, if he goes to leave and then you kiss his shoes <laughs> as he's leaving, that's a little bit... That's a little bit strange. It's a little bit strange. That's weird. I don't think it's that weird, right? It sounds... It sounds like something that would happen in, like, an old movie. But anyways! Also, she was asexual in the first place and was working backward to make her defect about him. Is she asexual though? Because she says she's asexual. But is that because... She was born like that? Or because she has been continuously exposed... To... A form of sexual violence during her entire developmental period. That has turned her off from the concept because it is so traumatizing. Like... I'm pretty sure it's trauma. I'm, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's trauma. I don't, I don't think it's... <laughs> I will repeat when the poll was made, the daughter only knew about the fetish after she was an adult and after it was explained. And only after the daughter kept asking about the necklace. Oh, so that's when the poll was made. Hopefully, hopefully now you have a different opinion. Reese Redding, Nintendo Lords. Yeah, 20 year olds can't be traumatized by their mom's behavior. This is insane. The mom is out of line and all day, every day. Oh, is that first part sarcasm then? Because like... Yeah, 20 year olds can't be traumatized by their mom's behavior. Okay, I'm assuming that part sarcasm. Because then it goes into the other thing. Uh, Space Cowboy, thank you for 34. I feel for the posters who had parents who couldn't control themselves. Tony Stark, thank you for 5 Aragorn is a traditional man, but everyone knows he's a positive example. Not every tradition is bad, even though many are, especially compared to BDSM. Uh, yeah, I feel like there's this weird conflation between... People... people using shitty behavior. People... people having shitty behavior and then being like, but it's traditional. It's like... Is it traditional or did you just have a shitty role model? <laughs> <laughs> did you just have a shitty role model who perhaps did exemplify some values that you that you as well grew up to value but also use those values to do things that they should not have done like in this case putting a slave collar on the wife I don't think that's a traditional value okay and you can argue and you could be like, oh, but like wedding rings and stuff. Wedding ring is a newer traditional value. It's not it's not actually that old of a tradition. But you can argue, you can be like, okay, well the, the wedding ring is is marking the wife as property. But the husband wears one too. Who said the collar was? I'm just Okay! This guy said! That it's traditional value. The, they were they were reflecting traditional values. So I'm picking one of the things that he was doing to use as an example. I'm not gonna run through the entire fucking list and be like, did you mean this part? Did you mean this part? Did you mean this part? You said it. I'm responding. And yeah, it's symbolic. 
It's it's like I don't I don't think a wedding ring. Like I I can see right where you're like okay well it's like a, the mark of ownership or whatever and that's like a traditional value but I just don't I just don't agree I just don't agree. Um, it's a king. She might not get that, but them living their lives, but they did involve her. In it, in a small way, and we're not right. I would change my vote differently now with this new info. Um... I think a large part of the issue is I don't think the parents intended on this happening. I think the parents were too caught up in their play and they didn't consider her. They all need to talk. I think just because you didn't consider somebody else's feelings doesn't make you exempt from having done a bad thing, right? Like... Even if something like... Even, even with like accidents, right? If you accidentally hurt somebody, yeah, it was an accident, but you still hurt somebody. So you need to take responsibility for that. And the other person is not at fault for feeling wronged. You know? The other person... ...is still entitled to feel hurt by that. And it is logical for them to feel hurt. Despite... ...or regardless of the fact that it was an accident. Is the daughter the asshole? Idubs lost, dude. The fu oh my god, did you guys see Sam Hyde taking pictures of Idubs at the at the uh, crater class thing? <laughs> I'm not saying it's right for Sam Hyde to to wear uh, <laughs> women's clothing and sneak in the creator clash to take pictures of Idubs' ear, but I am saying it was fucking funny. No one think with the $22. Children's lives are destroyed by absent parents. Don't work too much and be more present in your kid's life. Adults can do whatever they want in their house as long as they provide for their kid and treat them as best as they can. I think parents should have higher standards than that. I think... I think parents should have higher standards than just providing a roof over their child's head. And... and being there for them. Because if you're... Listen, listen. Is it better for a child to have an absent parent than it is for them to have an abusive parent? Like, if your parent is beating the shit out of you, it's probably actually better you had the absent parent. I I, I don't agree with your take at all, no one. I, I, I respect you have your own point of view, but I do not agree with that at all. Nate's a thing with the $5. If it was traditional, the father would also have gotten traditional beating for speaking to his wife like that from the other men. Um, evil man Drake, thank you for the large pepper. Your ISP died. Let's go. Is absence a form of abuse? In my mind, I imagine abuse as being a more proactive effort, right? I I I view abuse as more like some someone being there, but I, I don't know. I guess technically it could be. I guess I, I don't know. It's neglect. I feel like regardless of what it is technically, it definitely is in the spirit of abuse. Roly Poly Games, thank you for dollars. When you are a kid, you are sacrificing your needs for theirs. You cannot bring these personal excessive needs. Oh, when you are having a kid. I thought you said when you are... When you are having a kid, you are sacrificing your needs for theirs. You cannot bring these personal excessive needs into raising them for their sakes. I 100% agree with that. Oh, thank you, Dolores. God, I want to be used to ship as anchor. What the fuck? Our clay thing is Dolores. Parenting is about sacrifice. They can, uh, The least they can do is at least tone down the freaky shit in front of their kids. Yeah, like, I don't think you have to stop doing it. Right? You don't You don't have to stop your, your, your BDSM lifestyle with your husband, but... Don't do it when your kid's around. Don't do it when you're going to pick up your kid from school. Don't do it when you're in public. Don't do it when... Your kid's... Potentially going to see it. Kill more combine than the 10 lords. You don't... Just become asexual. Most women are usually born with a condition. You can learn or develop a version to an action or situation. But a person can't just become asexual. I have no idea. I have no idea about that. I know... So I guess this is just a language issue. 
I, I, I guess this is just language issue because like like I've, I've i've seen like the trauma interviews and stuff that people do where they're like talking about their histories with sexual assault and they'll be like it has made me not want to do that right so i guess is this is color version i don't know i don't know i don't really care what people identify as Bob and Ding with the 220. Pips, neglect is totally a form of child abuse. Where's another thing? Daughter's daughter story is a giant red flag. Gut feeling. And Leo's the eating with the 10 dollars. The only reason why I knew anything about my mom's sex life was because a single mother and we lived in a small apartment. It was bound to happen just by accident. And accidents happen. You should do everything in your power to prevent them. But like... It's not... It's not like... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna like shame you for an accident happening. Bob Dolding, Red Lords, it's a slippery slope though. The minute you say it's okay, we're just back to square one. I can't think of Red Lords. Uh, we should look up if the law defines kinks slash fetishes as inherently sexual. No, we should not. No, we should not. Okay, the next one. I like these. I like discussing these with you guys. I feel like in general, chat reflects the streamer. So a lot of us agree on the same things. But it has been interesting seeing... Some of the dis some of the disagreements here. I'm taking another sip. You guys like it? Okay. Am I the asshole for freaking out about my friend's weird fetish? Poisoning the well. Sorry. I want to preface this by saying that my friend and I are still talking, and I'm pretending like nothing happened, but it's still been bothering me, and I want someone else's opinion on it. A few nights ago, my friend, we're both guys in our 20s, invited me over to his place to drink and hang out. After a few beers, I suggested we play Good Cop, Bad Cop, which is a drinking game that we used to play in college. Kind of like Truth or Dare. As usual, the subject turned to questions about sex. Fellas, is it gay to play Truth or Dare and it devolve into being about sex with the homies? That's what they're building when those accidents happen. That's how neglected kids are born in the first place. Oh my god. I've been thinking about dollars. My faith in your morality is affirmed, the wabbit. Sigma syndicating the blood of your sexuality. Actually, 10,000% can be affected by experiences that happen while you're growing up. That response really irked me. I have no idea. I don't know what the science on this is. I, I have no idea what the science on on how... Like, nature versus nurture when it comes to sexuality. I asked him if he had any kinks. A question I regret... I mean... Uh, I regret immensely now. He pulled out his laptop and made me swear not to tell anyone. I said, sure. At this point, I was super curious about what he was going to show me. He started opening all these files. They were images he made using a program called Dash 3D. Which lets you pose characters like action figures, put together little scenes, and take pictures of them. He told me he uses the program to make comics that he posts on porn forums online. That was pretty weird, but the worst part was that the com what the comics were about. One comic was about tiny brown people being put in a zoom when laughed at by- from Bangladesh. <laughs> That shrinks men down to one inch tall. There were also a bunch of pictures he made of women who had grown to giant size, stepping on houses or cars and abusing little men by picking them up or sitting on them. I've seen some weird porn stuff, including Japanese anime stuff, on the internet before, but honestly, nothing has ever made me as uncomfortable as this. It was deeply weird and disturbing. I had no idea fetishes like this existed. 
I told my friend I thought it was totally fucked up and weird, and I think my serious tone of voice freaked him out because we stopped playing the game and turned on the TV instead. Yeah, you probably scared him. I had no idea people could find stuff like that sexually attractive. The characters weren't even naked or having sex. It was all about the giant sizes and men getting humiliated. I didn't want my friend's feelings to get hurt, but I couldn't help but have that reaction that he showed me. Am I the asshole? Edit, I think his girlfriend has a right to know the type of stuff he's into. If he doesn't bring it up today, I'm going to send her a text explaining what happened and what he showed me. Oh! I was a little bit on his side until that part. I'm gonna make the poll and then I'm gonna explain why. Is he... Is the OP the asshole? I think... I think that part went a little... That went a little far. Okay. Is he the asshole for reacting like that? To his... To his friend's fetish. <clears throat> Hold on. I think... A little bit of both. I think... On one hand, you should have better self-control than that. But on the other hand, it sounds like you were drinking because you were playing a party game. Or play, well, like, you said a few beers. So I don't know if that's enough to get you drunk or to inhibit your your self-control. Was it an asshole thing to do? Yes, you should be more respectful to your friend like that. When it comes to that. Also, like you are the one that asked him, yes. But... Like, you were drunk, or at least, like, a little bit tipsy, so if you just had a gut reaction like that, and that's how you reacted, I think that's fine. Right? I think it's fine. I don't think you should have done it. I don't think that's the proper way to react, but I think it's reasonable to happen while you're, while you're tipsy. Or while you're drunk. Whatever. What makes you the fucking asshole is the next day you're like, I'm gonna interfere with this other person's relationship. I'm gonna, I'm gonna potentially destroy my friend's relationship. However old that may be, or how close they might be, or whatever. I am for no reason going to text. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on a morally righteous act and I'm gonna, I'm gonna message my friend. My friend! The person that I have the allegiance with! I'm gonna message his girlfriend! And be the one to tell her about the fetishes. I think that's fucked up. I think that's fucked up. I think this guy's a fucking asshole. Like... Just why would you... Why would you do that? Why would you... Why would you do that? First of all... Hypothetically, even if she did deserve to know... At whatever point they are in their relationship. It's not your place to tell her. He's not hurting anyone by doing it. There's no... Like, hard timeline on this. Okay? Maybe I could understand if they were about to get married. And like, you knew this about him. And you just wanted to like, confirm. But then you wouldn't like, go to the girlfriend. First of all, it's none of your business. But I understand like, if you're close to her, you want to look out for her. You maybe ask your friend, like, hey, have you guys, like, talked about the stuff? You know, maybe, like, help them through that. But, like... This just reeks of trying to, like, get revenge on... On the friend for having a fetish that he doesn't approve of. Like, this is... Th like, that... Th this guy's your friend! You're not friends with his girlfriend! You're not friends with his girlfriend. Your allegiance should be with your friend. You don't go to your fucking friend's girlfriend and be like, By the way, my homie fucking... Is a freak. Watch out. Wait. Just, just in general. Say... Say... That like... He's not that close. Right? With the friend. Or he's like equal close friends with the, with the girlfriend and the friend. Bro! What do you mean she deserves to know? She doesn't deserve to know fucking anything. She's a girlfriend. They're not in a serious relationship or whatever. I mean, like, unless these people are like fucking fiancés or something. But you said girlfriend. You said girlfriend. 
So, like... This, it's a girlfriend, dude! What do you mean she has... To, or she deserves to know? What do you mean she, does, she doesn't need to know fucking anything? She doesn't need to know anything! Do you... Do you... Like... It's not. It is not. Yes, yeah, simp energy. It's simp energy. No, what's that thing with the five dollars? Dude is having... Oh, dude is doing holes before rolls. Bingo, bingo, tingle, bingo, thing with the doors. Weird to guess, but that's too... For two, destroy his relationship. Oh, too far to destroy his relationship. That's a dead pool thing for Dolores. Only if a guy invents a shrink ray or an ant man suit, should you tell anyone? Hoi Ben, thing with Dolores. Five dollars says the dude has a thing for his friend's girlfriend. Oh, absolutely. There's no other reason to do this. Actually, there's two reasons. There's two reasons. Reason number one is he feels betrayed by his friend because he didn't know that his friend had this kind of fetish. And he wants to... He wants an outlet for those emotions, so he's taking it out on... on... his friend's relationship. Or number two, he just wants to get with his friend's girlfriend. Ben Samuel and Dolores, he gave his word. And that's another thing, he did specifically agree. He did specifically agree. This is some Reddit shit right here. This is some fucking Reddit shit. Hell no, man. Not the asshole. People like all sorts... Maybe this is before the edit. People like all sorts of weird and wacky stuff. You're not an asshole for your reaction. Although his tastes are incredibly strange, he's not an asshole for liking it. Yeah, this went beyond wacky in my opinion though. He had girls as giants walking around and holding little men between their fingers to humiliate them and stuff. One of the panels in the zoo was about how the tiny race of brown men had a language of their own, but the woman who captured them thought it was just animal noises. Weird details like that. Okay, well he's getting downvoted all hell with everything. You're the asshole. Don't ask questions you can't handle the only answers to. He's not hurting anyone with his kinks, but you hurt him by asking disgusted. You're the asshole. You asked and you made it... You then you made him feel bad about it? If he wasn't tipsy, I could understand this, right? Or if he wasn't... If, if he hadn't been drinking beers, right? Like, I, I guess I can't guarantee that he was tipsy or whatever, but like... I don't know. I don't know. You're the asshole, you asked, and then tink, uh, kink shamed. You're also the asshole for replying to one comment that says you are not the asshole, and then further laughing at his kink with another commenter. It really seems like you can't handle the real answers to questions you ask. Oh, they are dragging him. They are dragging him. I don't think being drunk excuses you. I mean, it doesn't make you... ...not the asshole, but it also does... ...not make you an... ...an asshole. Does that, does that make sense? Not the asshole, I think it sounds like he has some deeper issues going on, so I won't call him an asshole, but I don't think those fetishes are mentally healthy and certainly not common. He probably should have expected this reaction as well. Maybe I've spent too much time on the internet, but this doesn't seem that bad to me. <laughs> I don't know, this doesn't seem that bad to me. I don't know, after some of the shit that I've seen... You know what? The little... the little men in the zoo and... Giantists... I... I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it seems... it seems pretty tame. All things considered. Okay. What was... Okay. Ah! Is OP the asshole? Yes. No, 14%. Okay. I'm not even gonna ask on that one. I just... Okay. Let's get to a weird one. Am I the asshole for not removing my socks? Last week, I attended a party hosted by my best friends. For this party, I wore my favorite jacket, a dress, thigh-high socks, and boots. I thought I looked pretty cute. That sounds pretty cute. A couple I didn't know also came to this party, and the girlfriend took an instant dislike to me, glaring at me and refusing to speak. Her boyfriend was okay with me, but I mostly engaged with the people I knew. Around halfway through the night, the girlfriend cornered me and told me I should remove my socks as her boyfriend has a king for them. Pretty based. I told her no. She then began yelling and screaming at me, threatening me, calling me an attention whore, and accusing me of trying to steal her man. Eventually, her and the boyfriend were kicked out. My friends are on the side... Are, my friends are on my side for the most part. Most part, but a few people there said that I should have removed or rolled down my socks. Am I the asshole? What? 
Literal fashion police? Psy based? Boyfriend is based? Girlfriend crazy? OP cute? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start the poll. Is OP the asshole? I feel like socks are more of I mean I like socks. I think socks are really cute on girls. The thigh high socks, especially when they're striped. But that also doesn't have to be like I don't know, like that doesn't that doesn't come off as like overtly sexual, I guess? I don't know, like... Oh, I paused the alerts at some point. What the heck? I don't know when that happened. Apocalypse for everything. For those of you seen the newest trailers for Tears of the Kingdom and Final Fantasy XVI, I have not. Not a thing, but there's a woman moment. I don't know, it's... Yeah, it's like, socks serve a practical purpose. It's like, even if you find boobs attractive, right? Like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't... I, 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 I don't know, you wouldn't look at, like, all boobs as, like, a sexual thing. Like... It's... I don't know, like, it's just a thing, you know? Like, I, I don't know! Reese Redding, from the I refuse to believe any of this actually happened. Female statement? Insecure woman moment depends on the context. I think I think that's the thing that matters is the is the context, right? Like, no, but telling you, Dolores kind of getting an everybody clap the vibe. Pearl netting Dolores, ah yes, the staple of veto we're talking topics. Like, okay, Azure Lane has some skins where the bulba is like very out, right? And those skins. ...are not always very sexy. But then there's like, some skins where the booba is covered. And they're... ...very sexy. So... The it, like, the, it, it comes down to like, the framing and the context of it, right? Like some, some girl wearing socks, like you might think in passing, like, oh... ...she looks cute, or oh, like that's my type, but you don't just, you don't just like... Turn feral, I guess. You don't like... I don't know. Respire thing. Dolores banned me now. I'm getting mad. What? I don't know. It's... Yeah, 91% no. It does It does feel a little fake. Um, not the asshole. Thank God she didn't catch a glimpse of your underwear. Yeah, at least that's another thing. Like, are you not allowed to wear underwear? Uh, just tell her you can't because... Two other guests have a boot fetish and foot fetish, respectively. Like, I can't- I can't possibly imagine why you, your friends- Like, maybe- maybe her friends were saying that, yeah, you're the asshole because... She should have just, like, taken them off in order to not disrupt the party. Not so Deadpool thing, Red Dollars. Just imagine if it was a different fetish. Like, my boyfriend has a panties fetish, so everyone around me was remove them. I have spoken. Yeah, I don't know. It's a nothing burger. I feel kind of bad. This one- this one is just kind of a nothing burger. This is just kind of a nothing burger. Jealous girlfriend was too controlling. I think so. I think so. You don't comply with stupid? I mean... I don't... I don't know. Like, I can't say that 100%, right? Because there's like... There's like... Times... When it is easier to just like, let it go, right? Although, taking off your fucking socks is kind of excessive. I feel like there's just too much physical exertion in taking off your socks and putting your shoes back on and now walking around not having any socks on. Or having to roll them down and now you look like a goober. Right? If it was something like... I don't know. I don't know how this could ever safely apply to... Okay, but if you're at the party, right? It's your friend's party and somebody's making a scene about, like, the jacket that you're wearing. Okay, well, you can just take the jacket off in order to not cause conflict for your friends, right? In order to not kill the vibe of the party. You know, that was about control. Like, sometimes you just have to let things go. Sometimes you just have to let things go and, and take the path of least resistance. And then if they keep harassing you or whatever, then, like, it can be worth going back at them. But... 
You know, you, like, there, there's times, there's times when you don't, you don't have to comply. And times when maybe you should comply. Do not negotiate with terrorists. Oh my god. No, oh my god. The jacket stays on. Okay, I wonder. I wonder if I can find any more on here. I wonder if we can find any more on here and say we're never comply. Jesus. The girlfriend should have just been wearing socks of her own. Yeah, why didn't the girlfriend just wear socks? It wouldn't be an issue, right? It wouldn't be an issue. If, you, if you're wearing the socks, then why is, your, why is your boyfriend looking at the other girls with the socks on? Hmm? 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 Table melting for dollars. Never let them force you to take off your socks. I think, I think taking off socks would be a little bit too far. I think... I think there's a little bit too much effort. Like, that seems more like a deliberate act of, like, humiliation, right? Like, I'm making this person take their socks off. Like, that's kind of... that's kind of too far. Rock nine again, 220. How about you get effed is the only response. You don't... you don't always want to make a scene in public, dude. Adam Shays will think of the two words. Not my problem that some DJ has a weird fetish. Socks aren't weird! What the... <laughs> Take hey, anything with the two dollars. You wouldn't say comply if it was a glowy bibble. Well, no, not if it's a glowy. The little girl thing with five dollars. What if the boyfriend has a foot fetish and the girlfriend is wingmanning him? This is some next level cuckoldry. This is this is next. Okay, this one has six thousand upvotes, and this one has sixteen thousand. Does this have anything to do? I typed I typed kink. Into the into the bar. No, that doesn't. Okay. Um I checked out this one before. It didn't seem like as much of a a, a good one, but I'm gonna I'm gonna post it on here anyways. Here's we have more to talk about. Yeah, stop! No, don't stop sexualizing socks. No, I almost agreed with you, but no, keep sexualizing socks. Add the little thigh gap, uh, uh, not thigh gap, uh, what's it called? The little, the skin dentation. Keep adding skin dentation. Race red thing on the two I hate it here, just for the autism, thanks. I, male 36, am absolutely not what you would call a handy kind of guy. I can build an IKEA flat pack and I can follow a YouTube tutorial to find out how to declog my washing machine. But I don't have any what my father-in-law, male 16, would call worthwhile skills. I have to give him the credit that, uh, that he's due and say that he's knowledgeable about plumbing, joinery, and electrics. He has often helped me and my wife with matters in our home, leaky pipe, some plastering work, etc. And we have always been grateful and appreciative of his efforts. My skills are more IT based. Nothing wrong with that. I work in this field for a living, which means I often get saddled with the old chestnuts such as, can you fix the printer? Or, the internet isn't working. To me, these problems are simple issues to fix. But he is very IT illiterate. I never make a deal, big deal about this because it's the least I can do to repay his help. However, he spares no opportunity whatsoever to take shots at my lack of worthwhile skills. He'll say often in front of my friends and family that I'm not a real man or that I'd be useless in an emergency. That sort of thing. Well, he's right about the last part. You would be useless in an emergency. Um, I think, so far, anyways, I think the part that goes too far is saying that, like, he's not a real man and denigrating him in front of his family. I think that part's too far. I don't think you insult a man in front of his family. I think that's just, I think that's just too much. I think, like, that's not based on any, like, objective morality or whatever. Or, like, objective, like, this harms other people. I just think that you just don't do that because it's... Like, it, it's kind of next level, right? Like, you're including, you're including, like, the family in on that and purposely trying to damage his familial bonds. Aylor Lightbringer, I think, over the $2. Okay, socks, Riona Ki- No! I think, I think that's part I think... You know, like, sometimes... People make, like, mean jabs and stuff and you just gotta kind of, like, deal with it, right? Sometimes people are just fucking assholes. Like... So I'm a streamer, right? So I hear... Whenever, like, well, not whenever, but like, sometimes, sometimes when I'm explaining my line of work to people, they'll be like, oh, so you beg for money on the internet? And it's like, well, no. 
you can you can choose to interpret it like that, but you know, like it's not worth arguing with him. It's not worth you like you know what the intention was. You know what the intention was. You know why they're saying the thing that they're saying. Okay? And you just gotta kinda let it go. Because it's just not fucking worth it. It's just not worth it. And all they want to do is cause an argument. Because it'll make them feel superior. You know? You know, so it's like you just gotta you just gotta kinda let it go. Don't don't give them what they want. They're like IRL trolls. They're IRL trolls. But then if you did that, like... In front of my three adorable bunnies, I'd kick your ass. <laughs> Just kidding, my rabbits would kick my ass. Not so dead holding room for doors, here's my donation people. <laughs> Leave me alone! They're technically correct, but I don't beg for money! They're not technically correct, I'm not begging for money! I might ask you to buy my merch, but I'm not like, oh my god, if you don't, if you don't, listen, if you guys don't donate to me, I'm gonna lose my house. That's not how that works! I know it's not how it works because it's in the contract! Go spooky thing, Lord. Some change for the bucket. Uh, Grudel Gaming. I know that part's not in the contract. I just remember, like, we're, we were told uh, at an early stage, like, you're not allowed to, like, directly ask. Grudel Gaming thing, for Lord. My response to those sort of questions is to cry about it. Raven Chi Ha, thing, I'm BBB, monthly protection fee. Free Master Jane, thank you for doors. Tell them people pay for your opinion. That's what it is. Also, their opinion is worthless. <laughs> Red Remover, thank you for the $10. Okay, but only because your house depends on it. No! Jane's bonding from 50 If I don't donate, we will lose our house. Take my money. Shut up. I will see that your doors house one. Ah! Stop adding to my super chat list! Stop adding to the list! Grand thing, gum big pee dance for entertainment, funny woman, gold heart dragon thing, gum big pee rent money. Oh my god. I see you beat her, thank you. Oh, ice cube beat her, thank you, gum big pee Pippa's gonna lose her house, please don't. <laughs> okay, because he does a lot of stuff that I generally suck at, I bite my tongue and don't say anything to him. That's generally the best approach. I mean, especially if he's doing. Listen, listen, if he's doing a bunch of stuff for you for free. And oh my god, so many fucking supers. If he's doing a bunch of stuff for free for you, anyways, you know what? Listen to his whining, because at the end of the day, you're the one that's benefiting. You know? Just turn your brain off. Listen to some music. Put on some classic rock and let him jam out. Dog, I think you're $20. Don't tell me what to do. Excellent. I think you're the 1,100 rent free. Don't lose your house, please. I will gamble. I think you're $20. Is because you said stop. Free spread. Thank you for $20. Who are these people? I'm so old. Tons of cringe interactions. I don't understand. This doesn't happen in real life. Desk. With, uh, deal with it, Pippa. Keep reading. <laughs> Kaikwai thing, Gumby B. What about a lisp? I wasn't listening. Also, hi, chat. Don't lose your home, Ton. One thing worth five dollars. Okay. Because he does do. Okay. Uh, this week changed that. We bought my daughter this massive climbing frame slash swing set for her birthday. My wife and I were able to assemble most of it, but the last few bits, as well as anchoring it to the ground, were giving us issues. Uh, my brother stopped... My brother happened to stop by to visit, so he helped. But my wife also phoned father-in-law to come help. We got the job done, but again, the commentary continued, which was especially insulting considering my brother was there. Yeah, that's rude. That's rude. I, th I think I think the worst part is, like, the fact that this guy is doing it in front of your wife. Right? Like, I just, I just don't think that's appropriate. I... I, I like... I'd say grin and bear it if it was just in front of like the brother or whatever. Cause like it's just between men. But like doing it in front of the wife. Like he's like forcing you into like a submissive role here. Like <laughs> Like he's he's deliberately trying to one up you. Trying to trying to appear like more dominant than you. Like a dog. So... It's like... It's, yeah, like, don't embarrass a man in front of his woman. Yeah, is is BD, Not BDSM! I'm talking like, like, dogs! I'm talking like dogs, chat. I think... I think the fact that you're more concerned about... Like, being insulted in front of your brother than your wife, I think... Personal opinion! Personal opinion! I think you should reevaluate your priorities. Okay? 
Because it sounds like you're worried about being last in the food chain here, but you're already lost. You're already la last in the food chain. You're already last. Because you're letting him you're letting him shit talk you in front of your wife. The brother the brother's not the issue. Okay, anyways. Yesterday we were up visiting him. I was there as my as was my wife, his wife, and my wife's brother and his wife. Holy shit. He asked me if I could look up. If I could look at his laptop as he had some sort of virus when I fired it up, it was one of those ransomware programs. Camera was showing the webcam feed on a fake police website. I was able to get his computer somewhat back to normal after a while, which took longer than he'd have liked according to his comments. Do people always fucking do this? I hate this shit so much. You do something for somebody and they're like, well, how long is this gonna take? And it's like, well, I don't know. How about you go sit in another room while I do the thing? How about you just don't fucking worry about it? And if we were in a repair shop, you wouldn't be heckling the fucking repairman. You wouldn't be heckling the repairman. Leave me alone, woman. While I was bringing it back, he kept badgering me about what had caused the virus. I perused his internet history. Oh, I peru a perused through his internet history revealed a lot of porn. Nothing particularly embarrassing, but probably information that he wouldn't have wanted shared. It was out of my mouth before I had even finished processing the thought. Loads of these porn websites have a lot of viruses and dodgy website or dodgy stuff. I'll get you a membership from my Norton account. You could have cut the tension with a knife. His wife looked super angry and sister-in-law stifled a laugh. We left shortly after that, but on the way out, we heard the two of them arguing. My wife gave me both barrels in the car, but I said he is always giving me a hassle and I keep my mouth shut. Things have been frosty ever since and I wonder if I went too far. Am I the asshole? No, I think your wife is the ass. Okay, let me make a poll. Let me make the poll. Is OP the asshole? I'm gonna say no. I think I think the wife is the asshole. JP, then you're in ten lawyers. I work in IT. People do in fact heckle the repairman. I'm so sorry, Eric Hudson. I'm BP. OP is based. I think it's a little cowardly that this is the only way OP was able to get back at his father-in-law. Like, in order to... in order to... Like, this isn't gonna resolve any of the tension in the relationship, right? Like, you didn't... you didn't do anything other than... Piss your father-in-law off more, and now he's gonna go at you even more aggressively? And if you have, like... The charisma to pull off, like... Bringing... like, making it all about, like, his porn addiction or whatever... Ne next time he's... he's giving you shit... Like, if you're able to do that, good for you. I don't believe you're able to. Yeah, OP sounds timid. I think OP is a little bit too timid. I don't know. I think I think it's karma, yeah, for the father-in-law. I agree with that. But I don't I don't think it's I don't think you actually accomplished anything here. <laughs> I don't think like you got you got back at your father-in-law a little bit, and it's like it's it I'm sure it'll help your ego a little bit. But like you, you need to like actually shut this guy down. Like if he if he's shit talking you in front of his wife, I think the wife is the biggest asshole here. Clearly, uh, the wife respects her father more than she respects you, and I don't, I don't agree with that. I think if you want to talk about like traditional values, then I think the wife should be placing the husband first here, and. Like, she doesn't have to agree with what he did, but, like, I think she should be able to agree, right? That, like, the father-in-law has been... has been giving shit, so when the son does it... Oh, not son. When the, when the husband is doing it back to the father-in-law, that it's... Like, just, just side with your husband. Like, <laughs> don't, don't defend your father-in-law. But I feel like... And maybe I'm looking at this too much, like, in a... in a animal brain kind of way or whatever, but it feels like the wife... ...values the father-in-law... ...and his authority... ...more than she values... ...the self-esteem... ...of her husband. And I don't think that's appropriate. I don't see anything from Dolores. I would have just made subtle jabs when he's doing stuff. Throw father-in-law insults back at him. Bonus in front of family. Turnabout is fair play in my opinion. Throws insults back at him. I don't think there's any way for OP... Like, maybe if OP made like... I don't know. I don't know how he would turn his insults back at him. 
His OP's father-in-law is insulting him based on his inability to do... ...handiwork and stuff. It's her father? And it's his husband? What? I think OP is overly sensitive and just ribbing, not insults. I think OP... ...isn't oversensitive. I don't... I don't think OP isn't... Uh, I, I, I don't... I don't think OP is oversensitive. Because the father-in-law is clearly insulting him, right? Like, saying that he doesn't have any worthwhile skills. The father-in-law does not have any respect for the husband. OP is not oversensitive. OP just doesn't know how to handle his emotions in a more practical way. I don't, I don't... I don't think you're being oversensitive if you get annoyed that somebody's saying that you're... That, that you don't have any worthwhile skills, right? That somebody's disrespecting you. And you can be like, oh, well... Actually... Well, if OP just had, like, some confidence and he wouldn't be bothered by somebody insulting his skills... But it's like, this is a person that, like, he's family with, you know? Like, you want your family to respect you. This isn't some random guy... Out on the street or whatever. It'd be oversensitive if you're like, oh my god, the fucking Home Depot employee uh, said that I, I have no idea what I'm doing when I asked him what type of screwdriver head I would need to twist the screws into the playset or whatever the fuck, you know? It's it's his father-in-law. But I think I think the issue is he needs I don't think he needs I don't think he's too oversensitive. I think he just needs to man up. I can eat anything. Lord's OP just saw an opportunity and took it. Yeah, I don't think he's an asshole for that. Again, I don't think he's an asshole for any of this. I think he needs to man up. And I think his wife's a bitch. His lawyer's in front of the OP needs to step it up. Getting trampled all... Uh, getting trampled all over in front of his wife, too. To be honest, it's kind of sad. You can't let family step over you either. It... Uh... For the most part. For the most part. Right? You can't let family step over you, but you also, like, can't take it to the extreme. I don't think... I don't think it is reasonable for him to... ...insult her father. Like, I think you should have respect- more f respect for your elders than that. But at the same time, like, I give it a pass because the dude's being an asshole, you know? <laughs> like, I can- I can give it a pass. Like, even though you should respect your elders and you shouldn't take, like, pot shots at them. I mean, the guy has been doing it... ...for however long and constantly doing it in front of his wife. I'd say- I'd say the old man took it too far first. No doubt, I think, my his wife needs to be reminded that she's married to OP, not her dad. When her dad insults OP, that's an insult to her, too. It is. It is. Yeah, literally, he started it. <laughs> he started it! This is a two-way street? Yeah. No one was really in the right. Not really. Respect is earned, Pippa? Um... Yeah, and I think old people naturally earn respect by having lived longer and having more experiences than you. I think respect is earned is more of a- is more of a concept when you're referring to, like, strangers and... Like, even then... I think people, like, warp it into something that I just don't agree with. Right? Like, I, I feel like at a fundamental level, you should respect other living beings. If somebody is disrespecting you, then depending on the context, it... Depending on how much you should respect them, depends on... or, 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 or correlates to how much I think you're capable of... or should be allowed to, like, get back at somebody when they disrespect you. Right? Like... No, I'm not saying it's ever good for somebody to disrespect you, right? I'm not saying... Like, in an ideal world, nobody... Nobody would disrespect you. But, I'm saying... Okay. With the father-in-law here. I think you should respect him at a base level. As a human being, right? Because he's a human being. And that level of respect is like... 
I don't know, not tripping him down the stairs. You know, like not intentionally disrespecting him. Being kind, being courteous, right? Then there's like the modifier of, well, he's a lot older than you. This man is like 30 years older than you. He's lived through a lot more than you. He probably knows a lot more than you. You should be more respectful and more polite and more open to hearing what he has to say. That's not to say that you should not be open to what other people say or whatever when they're the same age or younger than you. But like, the older you get, the more wisdom you're going to acquire. The more experiences you have lived. Not necessarily... You, you know, true, not necessarily. The father-in-law could be a complete fucking idiot. But it's a more reasonable assumption to assume that the person that has lived longer and had more experiences is going to be more knowledgeable and experienced than you. And it no, it's not going to apply to every field, but just in general. Then, on top of that, is the modifier of this is your wife's family, right? Presumably, this is like the patriarch of her family. And you should apply even more respect on top of that. Because that is, that's, that's your wife's family, you know? Like, you should, you should go even more out of your way to be polite and courteous. This is like, this is like, you should be going out of your way to do things for him. Because this is now your family as well. You want, you want to have his respect. You're going to give him respect. And you're being respectful to your wife. So, that's, that's how I feel. You're free to disagree on that. You're free to be like, no, Peppa, just because he's old doesn't mean he knows anything. Just, just a case in some scenarios, but I think in general, if you live your life assuming that the people that are older than you, like, at a baseline, are not going to know anything more than you or whatever are... Like, what does it cost you? I just want to know. I just want to know. What does it cost you? It doesn't cost you anything to value the wisdom or, or to, to, to be more receptive to your elders. Your sanity! It should not cost you your sanity. Time, patience, energy. I don't see how that's an issue. I'm not saying... Wait, listen, listen. If it's like... Okay. You know what? Yeah, I am saying. Okay, listen, if you're... Okay, you're standing at a crosswalk. There's an old lady looking to cross the street, right? Very cliche example. You should help her. Why? Because she's older than you. And you should be more polite to your elders. Okay? Like... And you can be like, oh, but what if, what if, like, uh, somebody is crossing the street and they're carrying a bunch of groceries, but they're my age. Are you saying I shouldn't help them carry their groceries? And I'm gonna say to that, no, you should not help them carry their groceries. If they need help, like, you can ask them, like, hey, do you need help? Right? You do need help. And if they're like, yeah, then sure, go ahead and help them. But as a baseline, no, you're not fucking obligated to help that person. You're not fucking obligated to help them. They're off they're most likely physically capable, and if they're not, then that's unfortunate. But you should not like have to extend yourself. Regardless. If they look like they need help, I think it's polite to do so. But I don't think you have to take the time out of your day. I think you should, but I don't you, you don't have to. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways! That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Respect does not equal goodwill. I disagree. I think I think goodwill and respect are are fundamentally entwined with one another. If you don't respect somebody, why would you why would you have harbor any goodwill towards them, right? Why would you why would listen? If I see a serial killer and they're like dangling off the ledge of a cliff, I do not respect them. So I'm not going to harbor any goodwill towards them. 
So I'm not gonna help them up. Because they don't even have the respect of a human being, in my opinion. Right? I don't even respect them as a human being. If it's like some other person, right? Just a normal person, I have no idea what their story is. I respect them as a human being, I'm gonna try and help them off the cliff. You know? Push them off the cliff! Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, chat. What if the serial killer is older than you? Shut up! Shut the hell up! Still no! The, the serial killer modifier is too strong. It, 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 no matter what, it's gonna push the, the stats into the negatives. Sydney, where the Dwayne Knox hate olds, don't respect them. <laughs> Listen. You can apply any number of modifiers to anything, okay? Listen, I saw people bring up politicians. A lot of politicians are old people. But they have the politician debuff. Which means they're a snake, a liar, corrupt, and a cheat. Just by their very nature. So no, you don't have to respect them and their wisdom. Because they're a crook, a liar, a cheat. And a snake. Their debuff modifier of being a politician pushes them into the negative. What about boomers, Pippa? Boomers derogatory or boomers like the actual group of people? If it's boomers derogatory, fuck them. I'm tired of dealing with their shit. If, a, if it's boomers, the normal people, like the normal demographic, they're a little annoying sometimes, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> right? Same thing with millennials. If it's millennials, derogatory. <laughs> Fuck them. If it's millennials normal, just the normal demographic. Fuck them. Sorry, I mean, they're, they're people too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're contradicting yourself again. How? I'm not. I'm not. Pippa mistakes, she assumes politicians have wisdom? When did I say that? I've actively said the opposite of that. Cameron Smith and the lawyers, what about Karens? Karens derogatory or Karens the group of people that just happen to have the name? Karens derogatory? Fuck them. Karens normal people? I'm so sorry you were born with that name. I'm so, I'm so sorry your family cursed you with that name. <laughs> Great thing for the lawyers. Um. Ah! I like refreshed the list or something. What the hell did I do? Oh god. Oh god. Uh, I can help an old woman with her groceries because I think it's the right thing and still not think she intrinsically has more wisdom than me and or respect her opinion. I think you should respect everybody's opinions on things until they prove themselves to be a complete and utter dumbass. And even then, sometimes fools have a nugget of gold. You know? You know? That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Especially because of like... Like, especially like growing up, right? Growing up... Like, I assumed... You know? Oh, this person's a scientist. So, they're gonna know... So much more than me. They're gonna be so smart. They're gonna be so wise. Well, guess what? They're into homeopathy. I was played! I was a fool! Should not have respected their opinion. But, I found out. Being young, right? Homeless people? Oh! Ah! Gross! You know? Like, when I was younger, I was like, ah! Oh. Homeless people, they're homeless because... Of their bad choices, because they're all alcoholics and drug addicts, right? But then, clip it! No, don't clip it! But then, right, I grow up, I grow up, I realize, you know what? A lot of, a lot of homeless people are actually people that fought serving the country, that came back, true, fuck you guys, fuck you guys. Are a lot of people that they came back after fighting for the country, they lost it, like their legs, a lot of limbs. They've been, they've been mentally scarred. They don't know how to deal with their own trauma. They haven't been provided the tools in order to be able to do so. 
They lose like their entire families because their their wives are cheating whores and they sue them when they come back. It's like they still have so much, still have so many stories to tell, I have so many experiences to share, and so much wisdom. You know, like you can't uh, like. You can, you can be like, oh, well, this, like, specific outlier. You know, like, this old lady. This old lady sells homeopathic medicine, so you shouldn't believe her. And you know what? True. <laughs> True. But on average, she's gone through more stuff than you. So I think it's more worth paying attention to her. I think, I think, I think she's more worth paying mind to when sitting down and listening to her. Versus listening, like, versus li sitting down and, like, listening to... A 20-year-old. I'm not saying a 20-year-old doesn't have... ...lived experiences and interesting things to say, but... ...or wisdom to share. I'm sorry! I'm not sorry! I'm not sorry! I... I... I think... ...lived experience... ...is a very... ...is a very powerful thing. Dualistic thing in two hours. It isn't normal people versus bad people. Spectrum. I never said it is normal people versus bad people. What? Homeopathy is rubbish. It is! Agree, Pippa. Everyone has their own story and wisdom to share regardless of age, though. You can learn a lot from listening to everyone. I'm, I'm not saying that, like, it has to be entirely exclusive. I'm just saying, on average. More like... Lived experiences, new speak. You're so fucking annoying! You're so fucking annoying! New speak! Uh, uh, lived experiences, new speak! Bro, it's a thing that describes a thing. Who the fuck cares? Who the fuck cares? It literally perfectly describes what I'm talking about. What do you want me to say? This person's this person's experience with being alive and the several uh, uh, turbulations that they may have overcome, the good moments and the bad moments that they might have lived through. Fuck off! The word work! Me use the word! Caramel the rabbit person thing for those... Yes? Or yeah? I chat a lot of older rabbit persons and it helped me grow. Listen chat, listen chat. I think you should give more respect to your elders... ...than you would on average to a fellow human being. And I'm not wrong on that. And if you think I'm wrong, fuck you. Fuck you. I'm not saying every old person that's like... Li because, listen, listen. I heard so much wrong shit when I was younger, right? Especially from teachers. Especially from fucking teachers, right? Teachers are like... Peppa, this is my wisdom I bestow upon you. They didn't say it like this, but it, it adds to the effect. This is my wisdom I'm bestowing upon you, Peppa. When you, when you grow up, you're gonna regret not enjoying your youth more. You're gonna be like, I... You're, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get into the real world and you're gonna be like, Oh man, I miss being in kindergarten. And you know what? I don't miss being in kindergarten for a goddamn day. I don't miss being... That was wrong wisdom. That wisdom was incorrect. I'm sure it's more correct on, like, I'm sure, I'm sure it's correct on average for a lot of people. But that shit was not correct for me. It was, that shit was not correct for me. <laughs> <laughs> but now, like, I do have that that memory and I can apply it to other people and it's like something that I can talk about and something that can help me understand other people. Depending on what their response is to the question, like, oh, did you... Do you ever regret not... Like, do, do you regret not being a kid? Do you, do you wish you could be a kid again? And if somebody's like, yeah, then I can be like, oh, well, why is that? And I can be like... I don't know. I don't know why somebody would want to be a kid again. Anyways, Guardian Dark Angel Link the Lord's wisdom is not being all-knowing, contrary to what Chad is saying. Wisdom... Thank you! Thank you! Wisdom is living and learning things throughout that time. Nothing more, nothing less. Thank you, Guardian Dark Angel. Thank you. Thank you! And just because somebody's stupid on one topic doesn't mean they can't be right on another, right? Like, you don't ask a plumber to fucking... Do your electricity, right? Unless, unless they have certification in both, I guess. I guess they gotta have certification in both. But like, you don't... You don't ask an artist to do your plumbing, and you don't ask a plumber to be your doctor. 
No, I don't think Dolores. I was an idiot as a kid. Now I'm an idiot as an adult. Based. Same. Alfonso, thank you, Dolores. That was your first lived experience, little Pippa. What? That doesn't make any sense. Wisdom does not equal intelligence? No, wisdom does not equal intelligence. In my experience, old people don't appreciate kindness openly. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think there's... I think it's kind of weird... How... My brain defaults this to being like... An other people thing, like people who are not from my specific experience growing up and shit. But uh, I'm sure it's not that, but like... I don't know, I feel like it's weird how people will be like... Oh, well this person didn't say thank you. They were ungrateful, and it's like... You know, people don't need to... Like, it, it'd be better if people did say thank you. But like, just because somebody didn't say thank you doesn't mean they're not grateful. You don't have to take everything as a personal attack. You can just... You can feel good about your good deed and... Not prescribe other emotions to the... Person who was the recipient of your good deeds. You know? Yeah, be nice for yourself, not for validation. I mean, if, if, even if you're doing it, like... I don't know. No, no, I think you hit the nail on the head. Send me out of pausing for dollars. I don't miss being a kid, but regret not having fun like I should have when I was a kid. I just wasn't as secure with myself and had lots of hang-ups. Sydney, I can understand that. Right? Because I look back at some things and I'm like, Oh, I didn't go on this field trip because I just wanted to stay inside and play video games because I was too scared to hang out with other kids. Or whatever, you know? Or like, oh, I regret not... Taking up the offer to go do this thing because I was too anxious about it, but... You know what? If you had done those things, maybe you wouldn't be the person that you are today. Actually, maybe you wouldn't even be alive. Maybe maybe you would have tripped and knocked your skull open and you would have died or something. I don't know. Probably not that extreme. But you know, like... You, you lived your life a certain way and you turned out a certain way. And I think you should be happy for that because you can recognize... Where you're at, and you can grow from there, you know? If there's things that you're not happy about that you did before... Then you should be happy that you can recognize that... And make the changes you want to make. You know? Red Jackal, thank you, Lars. I wish I could be a kid again so my grandma was around. Okay, I understand that one. I do understand that one a lot. People are overly optimistic about the alternatives they dream up. I agree with that. I was like that for a while, and then I remembered... ...the other circumstances where I did follow through on opportunities. And opportunities are never as good as, like, you think they're gonna be, right? <laughs> Maybe I'm just too negative. Maybe I'm just too negative. But I remember, like... Oh, do you wanna... Like, like... Piva! Uh, do you want to go on a family vacation to... ...see other family? And it's like... I can, I can think to myself, oh, I should have did that because it would have been another, like, memory to have and stuff. But then I know that I fucking hate family vacations. I hate that shit. I would have been miserable. I probably would have fucking hung out in a room and played my Game Boy Color and avoided as much human contact as possible and... Or, or my DS or whatever the hell, you know, like... <laughs> I, I'm sure, I'm sure I had fun doing whatever it is that I did while avoiding the family vacation, you know? I don't remember exactly what it is that I did, but I'm sure I had fun doing it. It's a shame, perhaps, that I don't have, like, that extra memory in my archive, but... I'm glad I also didn't have to go through something that I didn't want to have to go through. You know? The only thing that doesn't apply to is stuff that has long-term damaging effects, like not brushing my teeth. <laughs> yeah, just it is what it is. You know? Who's to say whether the choice you chose was the right one or the wrong one? It just... it just is. But with the video game metaphors again, I don't know how to communicate in anything else. Leave me alone. I read not going to family gatherings because I've lost some of them. That's fair. But then think of how, if you were actually at the fa uh, the family gathering, would you have even... Would you have even had the opportunity to interact much? You know? 
I'm sure you were that much happier each time you did get to see those particular family members that you wanted to see when you got to see them. You know? Weren't we kink shaming people? Yeah, we got oddly deep all of a sudden. Gem and Joy Cons, thank you for the two dollars. Samurai Knight, thank you for the Samurai Knight, thank you for the fun dollars. They're gone. The whole you wish I was a kid again gimmick must have forgotten how being a kid really is, especially nowadays. You got all the rumors. And nothing thing for fun dollars, nobody has to say thanks or accept anything from you. I think that's true. I think in general, people should say thank you. If there was even an implied effort, right? Because I think it's it's a very minimal thing to do. You know, like if somebody holds the door open for you, even if it's just because like you snuck past them real quick, I think you should still say thank you. I think it's just polite. It doesn't it doesn't do like you're not losing anything. You can be like, oh well, Pippa, actually it takes up some time and uh blah 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 blah. But you know what? Just say thank you. Just shut the fuck up and say thank you. It does it you're being dramatic. You're being dramatic if you actually complain about that kind of thing. But on the flip side. If somebody doesn't say thank you for when, when you open the door for them, they're not an asshole. They're not a bad person. You weren't entitled for them to say thank you or whatever, you know? Again, like, I feel like it just is what it is. I feel like that saying applies to a lot of things. It just is what it is. Maybe they are super socially anxious and they just didn't have the mental processing time to say thank you. Maybe they are so focused on other things they just didn't even realize. Maybe you've done the exact same thing and maybe you're projecting your regrets onto other people, but who knows? And I think I'm big My family did vacations when I was younger. I would just stay in front of... Just stay in and not participate when I was 15 and allowed to stay home. I did. Not my idea of fun. Can't blame you. I cannot blame you, Anon. Yeah. Pull out your phone and call them out! No! No! What the fuck? Yeah, maybe they're just Yankees. Maybe they were just born with the horrible curse of being born a northerner. And you just have to kind of suck it up and deal with the fact that they hate everyone and themselves. They have no manners. They're not... They're not... They don't come pre-programmed with any manners. You just kind of have to deal with it. <laughs> Jim and Joy Con, thank you for that. You're pretty basic. You're quite little headed advice on complicated topics. Keep knowing you, Stinky. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm sure I'm wrong about a million things. I'm sure there are things that I'm saying today that I'm going to look back on in a year and I'm going to be like, Pippa! Why would you say that, Pippa, you fucking moron? But that's just life. I can't worry about what I'm going to think in the future. I can only, I can only keep a open mind about it. Lost in okay thing. Lord, Peppa, I'm so sick. Pray for me. I feel like death. <sighs> I pray that you are okay. Austin, A-OK. -okay, because it is in our name. A-OK. -okay. Austin. Yeah. That wasn't really a prayer. Yeah, at least I'm trying. I'm trying. Not so death pulling in front of If they don't say thank you, you are within your right to pick them up and throw them out the damn door. Source, I am a lawyer. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Place on the ramp. <laughs> You've had a pretty low amount of woman moments this stream? Jesus Christ. I like your 50-50 in the stream. And I'm 1,005 triggered. Oh, I'm 1,000 or 100% triggered in this stream. What do you mean you're triggered? I'd like to return back to the new speak debate. No, never mind. We only have two minutes left. <laughs> We only have two minutes left. Never mind. Maybe I don't want to go down that rabbit hole today. Another day. Another day. Wizard raising for dollars. Not related to the stream topic, but grats for your first week. And Shapkin, Shapa, how are you feeling now that the reveal jitters are gone in your outfit and toggles and stuff? And you've been using your new outfits. I think they're very adorable myself. I'm very much enjoying them. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. James Cassidy, thank you. I'm big, big, big. Pepper ants are like my nourishment. <laughs> Ah, no. Kink shaming where? Okay, I'm gonna pick one kink that I think is just... You're irredeemable. Um, I'm gonna say the worst kink in the world. The kink that I'm shaming is... Inflation art, because you fuckers don't tag it as being pornography. Which, like, other stuff? Other stuff ends up, like, getting tagged or, like... Downvoted to all oblivion or whatever, like on on DeviantArt and shit. Does DeviantArt have downvotes? I don't know. It ends up getting buried because it doesn't have like the the favorites and stuff. 
But the thing about inflation is, is they sneak their fetish into everything. They sneak their fucking fetishes into like normal art and you don't realize that it's not just like... Oh, a silly fat panda bear. Nope, it's actually inflation art. Or like, um... They don't, they don't, like, you, again, but, like, the demon art stuff. Like, you'll find it on, like, the fucking front page. Because it's not marked as, like, mature or anything. Or marked as having any, like, fetish tags. Because they can, like, get away with not doing that. I hate that shit. I hate that shit. Zoophilia? I don't think zoophilia is a kink. I think it's a mental illness. You're traumatized by pandas. Yeah. They're ashamed of the kinks. But anyways! Anyways. I'm gonna call it there for tonight. I'm gonna go eat. I've had... Two cups... Of coffee. Some soda. I forget what I ate. I ate sandwiches. A long time ago. I'm very hungry. I'm going to go eat. Not so death holding around Inflation is a kink that is one of the few kinks where it's way worse when it's not the kink, though. What do you mean, when it's not the kink? What do you mean it's way worse when it's not the kink? In today's episode of Totally Spies! Yeah, that show's weird. Super unbothering for Lars. Yeah, I'm gonna leave my final comments being, I think if you insert your fetishes into a chel uh, children's show, I unironically think you should be arrested. Unironically? Like, you might be like, oh, Pippa, that's too extreme. No, I think if you are projecting your fetishes on the children, whether it's by Discord DMs or by putting them in TV shows, I think if somebody... I think Dan Snyder should be arrested. <laughs> I think, I think that, that's, even, even if it's one of the more, like, quote-unquote, like, the harmless or disguisable kinks, like the farting fetishes or whatever, you know? Like you can argue, oh well it's a kid's show, so of course there's gonna be fart humor, but come on, we can we can tell when it's not just humor. This was fun, Captain. Thank you for the stream. Thank you, win the sound harainer! Thank you, thank you! But everything is a fetish to someone? You can you can tell when it's the author's fetish. You can, you can, you can tell, dude. You can tell. You can tell. Come on. If you go onto somebody's computer that is writing an episode where there's foot fetishes and they're looking at foot fetish porn, they should be arrested. Sorry. Not sorry. That's how I feel. It's very extreme. And there's a lot of like, oh, but how would you, how would you prove that or whatever? I don't know. I don't care. That's just my opinion. Caramel the rabbit person thing in front of us. Caramel is the captain now. Chad, I shall lead us to the new world. You're not the captain. I'm still the captain. I'm still the captain. Tarantino moment. Tarantino doesn't make stuff for children. Okay. Um. Bum, 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 bum. Let's raid my little brother. He's playing Valorant. Bam, bam, bam. Botu cringe slash auto botu. I'd say I'll see you tomorrow, but I'm not going to see you tomorrow. I'm going to see you on Tuesday. I'll be like, oh, Jesus Christ. How do I say your name? Cartafel? Cartafel? The Eternal? Thank you for the hundred dollars. Thank you, thank you. I only got to watch a full live stream after months of laws. Thank you, Pipkin. Bye bye. It was nice to see you. This was certainly a stream. This was certainly a stream. Thank you for popping in. I hope you had a good time. I hope you guys have a good the rest of the, good rest of your week and you're not exposed to any weird degenerate fetishes. Yay! Yay! Don't forget to uninstall TikTok. Bye. <laughs> Be nice to my brother. He only speaks Japanese. <laughs>